guys, we're back. Episode five, man. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is the Defiance Podcast, where we defy the definition of who we are in order. I forgot the whole thing already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, defy the definition of ourselves in no defy the definition of who we are in order to become our become our best selves something like that yeah. i mean if you've seen this episode you probably i don't know i might change into the future still so it doesn't really even matter but uh yeah thanks for tuning into the defiance podcast i'm your host michael Macedo. this episode i have a special guest uh he goes by lots of names. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I know him by a few, but uh, his name is uh, Javier Paredes. Perfect. You know, I had to bust out the the, the roll the R's and stuff like yeah. that. I'm just or else I just call you Javier Wall Walls. Walls. I gotta add yeah. the S. I gotta yeah. add Walls. Javier Walls. Yeah. So uh, you know how I always like to start off by you know just uh, introducing the guests and not introducing how we've met how we met and so as we were speaking earlier uh javier brought up that it was probably 2007 when we first met and this was back at u of h yep so this was back at the university of houston and uh we still trying to figure out what class <laughs> yeah I, it's, it's been 12 years i can't believe it's been 12 yeah, years it's been 12 years man that's crazy yeah and then so uh he also brought up this was the second time like he met me once i well i went to u of h i dropped out and i came back so yeah. he met me after i came back yeah yeah and uh we had uh two classes so yeah i i can't remember the names one was uh one was a management class and it was with uh professor carlos jones yeah. i remember that the second one the other one was a marketing class yep and uh i don't know the professor i don't know the name it was a high level marketing class i think though. i think the professor if you remember correctly i think she she left because she was pregnant yeah she was pregnant so yeah. she like took off like at the end of the semester yeah and we actually had a shortened semester yeah. we got off from that class early yeah we did yeah because yeah. of that yeah that was cool i like that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but uh it was in one of those two classes mm -hmm. that we met and uh, I think it was the f the first one that you mentioned because I remember management? it was it was a management class where we had to do a whole bunch of case studies. Yeah, uh, I was never good at that type of stuff. Uh -huh. I remember, I mean, you were you wrote some good stuff, and you you and Miss Carla Jones would you know she would always be uh, on top of you, man. She, she was. Do you remember that? I remember that. Like yeah. I still keep in contact. With yeah. Her. Like she called me probably. Maybe it was like a year ago. Yeah. She called me out, and we had a little conversation. She's not at. Uh, uh, U of H anymore. Yeah. Uh, she's teaching at Sam Houston State. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's out in Sam Houston State. We had a conversation about that, and uh, I had to tell her that she wasn't crazy. That uh, she had she had reasons why she left U of H. I don't know if I should get into it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want to put her business yeah. out there, but uh, yeah, you know, I could think about maybe she'll cut. She'll probably come do the podcast. That'd be awesome. I have I, an old professor. Yeah, <laughs> I that, have an old professor yeah, on the podcast. Awesome. Yeah, we, I mean, we all know that you were her star student, man. She, I don't know about star student. Yeah, man. The one that probably gave her the most headaches, probably. Yeah. That maybe. No, but, but I remember. I remember we were talking before we, you know, before we started the podcast. Yeah. I remember sitting down, and I was always like one of those type of guys that would just kind of like look around. I was like, okay, and you know, just kind of see what's going on. Mm -hmm. and I was one of the first people to show up in class too, and. Mm -hmm. I remember you were already there, mm -hmm. and uh, and we talked about briefly, like you know, has anybody mentioned, you know, Mike in in two thousand two thousand seven? Mike, I mean, or, Mike had some long, long hair. He it was yeah. it was. Uh, I mean, what, was, what would you call it? I mean, it was, it was at, at points it was like down to my back. Yeah, it was that long. I mean, you were a cool looking cat, man. You were. I mean, you were. You were intimidating. I was like, oh man. That. You know what? I get that a lot. I actually get that a lot, man, from people. They think I'm intimidating. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, for one, it was it was one of those things. Like, I remember just you know seeing you for the first time, and I was like, yeah. I mean, this guy seems like a cool guy, but yeah, that that hair was intimidating. But you know, I'm glad that I you know I don't know who started the conversation. It probably was me because I'm 
I'm one of those people that just likes to talk to everybody. You, you know what I remember is I think like the first day in Carla Jones class yeah. is we, we had to like pick groups. Was it? Yeah. I think the very first okay. day, the very first day we had to pick groups. And uh, I think somehow I and out. Well, she picked out like certain people. Yeah. She picked out certain people in the class, I think. Okay. If I remember right. I ended up being one of the people that were like the leaders. Yeah. And then so so we had to pick. Okay. We had to pick groups. And I think at that point, like, I think we might have already talked a little bit. Okay. And then so I think, I yeah, you were my first pick. Okay. I think because you came up. I think because you first came time, up. First time, first pick. You came up to <laughs> me and then uh, uh, you, you said something. And I was like, I remembered your name. Okay. And then so I was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I'll pick him. And then. And so, the rest is history. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was in that class, and uh, you know what? Then so the marketing class was a different semester. Then it must have been a different semester. It must have been the next semester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. It wasn't the same semester. I know that it wasn't no, the same semester. No. It must have been the next semester after that that we had the the marketing class. Right. Yeah. Man, it's 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 starting to come back to me. I know, dude. Man, there's there's I don't I don't know about you, but for me, like, even just like yesterday is like blurry. Like mm. every day, I just go like I I'm always doing something. Yeah, always up, always up to something. Always busy doing things and you know working stuff like that. Yeah. and then just to reflect back on the past, right? Like like I could I wouldn't thought like I would remember these little things like yeah. that. Cause so much of it seems like it was, it, it really was for me like a whole lifetime ago. Yeah. Especially the the, the college was the whole life. I know a, it's, whole it seems like a lifetime. different lifetime. And to just to talk about what you were saying, I actually started last year, uh, just putting down, um, just little things that happen each, each day just to help me remember how my year went. Uh -huh. So the, for 2018, every, every single day, I don't know how I did it, but every single day I would just write down little things that happened that day, little things that I was working on that day. That way I can look back and 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 see what happens. So yeah, I'm the same way. It's like yeah. you know, sometimes a couple of weeks ago it's like blurry. Yeah. So I started writing, you know, jotting down notes, and it's it it helps me. It's it's funny to look back at at the stuff that I wrote. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wish I would have done that a while back just to remember. Oh, that's crazy. I would. That's that's it's it's interesting. You kept it up for the whole year. The whole year, three hundred sixty five days. Three hundred sixty five wow, days. Man. So every single night, yeah. I would I would you know sometimes I would forget. Sometimes I would uh you know if it was a Saturday, I, it'd, it'd be Monday, and I would try yeah. to I would try to go back. Okay, what did I do Saturday? So I would just write things down, and uh, yeah, it was just something that I wanted to do because every single year at the end of the year, always thinking like, man, this year went by so fast. Like yeah. you know, it, and so you're kind of thinking. Um, what did I even, what did I even do? So mm -hmm. I remember 2017 going into 2018, I was all like, you know what, I'm going to try this. I'm going to write down stuff that happened each day and just, you know, just look back at, look back at it. And, and I actually started for 2019. So every day, so, uh, January, what's today? January 22nd, 22nd, yeah, the 22nd, I put down, uh, the finest, uh, podcast with Mike Marcelo. So, yeah. uh, so, you know, I can always remember that looking back. So. That's good, man. And then, uh, so we're actually in groups in both classes, yeah. Because we're in a group uh, in the marketing class, mm -hmm. and the marketing class is where uh, where we had to. Uh, that was my favorite one, by the way. That was that the marketing, the marketing class. The marketing class was yeah was, was that was fun. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we part of the group. The group we had a group project and in that group we had to come up with a design product design right. a new product right. and uh i remember like at that point we already had that one class to get right. the 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 semester before mm -hmm. and so of course i was like all right well we were, we've already worked together right. i know he's cool i was like you know what let's be in the group again yeah and then that class i had man i'm, I'm confusing now I don't know if if Travis, if one of my, uh, if if Travis was in the group or in that class with us, because I know the only one that I remember we talked long. about it, it was Long. Okay, yeah. yeah, I know Long was in the group. Yeah. I know that for a fact. I don't know. Well, that's that's it was shout out to Travis. Like I had him in like a bunch of my classes. Actually, I had him in like one semester. We had the exact same schedule, so I had yeah. him like I would have four classes, 
And okay. then I would have them for each class. Yeah. And I, that's actually how we started. Like, uh, uh, we, we ended up talking because we had, we saw each other in every single class. And then we started, be, uh, like whenever we had the same class, we'll like, if we had group projects, we'd be in the same groups and stuff like that. I don't think it was in that class, but then I remember we started the project. We need, she made us come up with the team name. Yep. And I could tell you that was all you. That, that, yeah. <laughs> so at that time, yeah. um, so when did Inception come out? The movie? It, it had to have been before. Inception had came out before. Yeah. It must have, must have been like right before. Yeah. So yeah. It, it probably was like 2008, 2009 when the movie came out. Yeah. Because I remember when we were getting to meet up, we were thinking, okay, what's going to be our team name? Yeah. And I remember Inception was still fresh in my mind. And I love the idea of the extractors. And yeah. I remember, I I remember when I first told you guys about, you know, we let's be let's be the extractors because if if you if you guys seen Inception, mm. it deals with the dreams and it deals with you know different levels of dreams and and the people that go into your dreams are were called the extractors and and that name just stuck with me. And I remember the first time I brought it up to you guys, everybody was looking, looking at me like. What is this guy talking about? Yeah, I was like, I hadn't seen the movie at the time. Yeah, yeah. I had no clue. I and was like, I asked, I think I asked you, like, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny because you know how Facebook now they sh they show you your memories. Yeah, like what, what happened certain wow. years ago, and it's so funny. Like I want maybe like two weeks ago, Facebook reminded me where I where you you posted something to mine and, and you're like you know I finally watch Inception I finally understand why you call the extractor. <laughs> yes. So when I saw that when I saw that I was yeah. like good good times that, that, that was that was probably like years like we're we're already out of college at that point when when we fought when i finally saw the exception it was yeah. probably like probably like three four years yeah. afterwards yeah so you came up with the extractors i was like i didn't care what name we got mm -hmm. i was like yeah that's fine with me i was like yeah. i mean i didn't know what it was i just wanted to know what it is and right i was like yeah let's go with it and then uh yeah man that one we had to come up with a new product and then we had to come up with a marketing plan, yeah. marketing strategy for it. That's what the, it was marketing strategy. Yeah. That's the name of the class. The It was marketing strategy. Something like that. Marketing, marketing strategy, strategy. Three or four. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it was. And so we had to come up with a marketing strategy for this new product. And, uh, we, we used to go up to the, uh, we were in the, the business, the business school, the Melcher hall. Yeah. And I remember the first time we met, we were all up on that, um, I don't know. I don't know what Melcher Hall looks like now. I, uh, they probably they probably redesigned the whole thing now. But we were on the second floor. We you know we sat we and we were just like thinking of ideas. And I remember, um, I I don't remember the other guys being like really involved with it. I just remember like it was me, you, and Long that were bouncing off ideas. Yeah. I, re, I don't remember the, <laughs> the, the two other guys. Yeah, but I can tell you one did absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, I can tell you that for a fact. He did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I mean it's it's too long. I mean it's yeah. been it's been so long, but um I remember we were just bouncing off ideas and um the one that stuck was um the Elite Pro Swing. I think you're the one that came up with the name. You're the one that came no, up No, you came up with the name. I did? Uh I think you did. Well, it was I I think I threw out the idea. I think it was you yeah, you, you threw I, out the idea cuz we wanted to do something with sports cuz yeah. you know, we 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 were both um we were both thinking sports, you know, how can we, how can we change the game? What can we, how can we improve the game? Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, I remember like we were even doing like logos. We were even like sketching logos on, on we were thinking more of like the name <laughs> actually than the product. But then you started coming up with the actual, what it can do yeah. and, and elite pro swing. I mean, I, I remember like once we got started on it, I mean, it was like, it was like a legit plan that we had. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll just give talk some, about like a little background yeah, give, into like some, coming up with the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give it some backstory. I, re I remember, uh, like, yeah, we were talking about the sports, and then so I was like, all right, well, we were just like throwing out ideas, spitballing stuff like that, and then uh, I was, I brought up a baseball, like yeah. an actual baseball, oh, yeah, yeah. and then I was like, all right, hey, wouldn't it be cool if there was a baseball? that you could like throw mm -hmm. and then uh it'll tell you like how fast you're throwing right, right, and right. stuff like that and then you brought up like yeah they already, they already have that yeah yeah like, oh, I, <laughs> I, do re I do remember that because yeah. my, my brother my brother plays baseball yeah and i bought him one of those things uh -huh. it, it didn't it never worked i mean okay. i mean because when he threw it 
it would be like you know in the 80s and when i threw it would be in, in the 50s so it definitely didn't work I it mean, was accurate it was <laughs> it was 100 percent accurate <laughs> i was like I, I was telling my brother man i feel like i'm throwing like you know like 80 right now and that oh, ball was wait. telling me it was throwing like you're you're only throwing like 50 miles 50 miles per hour mm-hmm. i was like there's no way yeah i believe it i i could probably I could probably well probably less now, but I was barely throwing like fifty stuff. You remember like if uh at the like uh the rodeo at the rodeo they had like the little yeah, tents yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. One of them was like uh, uh, a little how fast can you yeah, throw yeah. it? And then I remember trying it out. I was like, ah, let's see, let's see how fast I could throw. Yeah. And it was straight up. I was like, it. Came, I was in the fifties. I was like fifty five. I was like, what for real? I was like, damn. Yeah. I know. I, and then. There's a kid next to me. This kid must have been like like this tall. He's probably like uh probably like ten years old. Yeah. He he hit seventy something. It's crazy. I was like, what are they what? What, what, what are they feeding the kids <laughs> yeah. these days? I mean, I was like, that guy test that guy right now. I know. <laughs> that guy's doing something. He's on HGH. I know. For a fact, he's on HGH. Cause man, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, but yeah, going back so. So I remember, like, you brought it up, like, oh, that already exists. I was like, oh, crap. Well, that idea is out there. I was like, and then from there, I was like, well, we can't do a ball. I was like, let's do a bat. Yeah. Let's try to incorporate something into the bat. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, well, I was basically, because the baseball and just seeing how fast you threw, you you were able to throw. It was kind of like, it was a training product, basically. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like to help people, like, uh, help, like, you know, like, just to, whether it's up and coming baseball players or high school or middle school right. or just like people who regular people who want to know how fast they're right. throwing and see if they're getting any velocity, improved velocity or anything like that. My idea was like, all right, well, how can we make bats better? Right. So, you know, that that make it a way where we can it could be like a training tool right. where people can use it and then from that get information on how they could improve their swing right and then so i was sold when i yeah. mean, like uh, as soon as uh, that, that stuff was happening it was yeah. like man that that sounds like a good product man and yeah. and everybody else ran with it they're like hey man let's 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 go with it i mean yeah. I, nobody else had any <laughs> yeah. nobody else had any i just better i was ideas. like let's just pick something yeah. right <laughs> yeah and then so we we decided to do the bat yeah we decided yeah. and you did a prototype do you yeah. still have the bat i still have the bat okay yeah I remember I've, I've used it a couple times. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, a friend of mine used it. Okay. So I got some little scuffs and stuff like okay. that. I, I just remember it was like all black. I mean, it, it was black, and then the 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 logo and the letters were in red, like a like okay. a bright like yeah, metallic yeah, yeah. red. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. Well, yeah. So like that whole the idea with the bat was like, all right, let's put like some motion sensors, mm-hmm. uh, some sensors into the bat that can track basically you know uh they'll it'll be able to recognize your swing pattern also uh then take like it'll real like if the ball where, wherever you make contact with the bat it'll read the point of contact yep. and then from that it would then use uh mathematics mm-hmm. that's a thing right it yep. would use mathematics to basically uh d- or geometry or wait no physics I'm sorry. I don't know my it's, science. It's one of those. It's, it's one of the sciences. Yeah. I didn't take like two years of science in or two years of physics in college. <laughs> I did. And I passed them. But uh, yeah, it's physics. It, it basically I uses, believe you. I mean, because we ha- you have your... Uh, the, the degrees the right degrees, up there. Yeah. I passed. I, I passed yeah. science. I could prove it. Yeah, but... So basically, I'll use physics to determine like... Uh, well, basically they do this now like on the the the, the mlb broadcast well they they you could project exit, how far exit velocity exit velocity so much of like what's it, like stat dist- cast something yeah, like that distance travel yeah. basically come out with a projection of where the ball would land everything like the trajectory on it and uh we were so ahead of the time man it was man so this was back in like 2007 2008 somewhere yeah. around uh, along that line and we came up with the whole plan for it and uh, the the design and stuff like that. And from there, uh, I mean, we did the project. And, and, if, and if you remember, I start, I, 
you know what we were talking about like how sometimes you know yesterday can be blurry yeah i still remember moments from that day i remember we were all dressed up in suits we were all dressed up in like i probably wasn't in a suit uh i, did I don't not. think no you weren't nope. you weren't in a suit but you nope. did have a you did have a nice black shirt on i, I think. might have might have wore a tie that's about it a black shirt and a tie that and that's about it <sighs> I, think, but I can yeah. guarantee you I wasn't in no, a suit. No, you weren't in a suit. I because remember. I didn't own a suit back then. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I came in a suit. I think I did. There, I, I, th- I think there's a couple people in our group that yeah. came in a suit. But from, from what I remember, I remember, yeah. I think we were the last ones to present. And we, I, we were the last ones yeah, to present. Yeah, we were the last ones to present. I remember we were sitting next to each other. And at, at one by one, we would, we would see the groups that would come up with their product. Yeah. And we were just looking at each other like, really? This is the best that they got? Yeah. And um, so when it was finally our turn, I don't remember how we presented. I don't remember who spoke. I think I think everybody – I think the, the – uh, I think everybody needed to speak in order to get credit. Yeah. You know, so everybody had to have something about it. So we split it up. So, yeah. Like, so we split on who would do it, who would start it, who would, you know, yeah. who would be the closer and all that. Yeah. I don't remember all the details, but I just remember um, our teacher, our professor that came back. I mean, yeah. she loved it. I mean, I mean, I remember she was all talking to the whole class. I mean, yeah. there, we, I think we got like the lo- the longest ovation, not, not, not a standing ovation. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. But, you know, I think ours, you know, was the best, you know, not to, not to sound biased or anything like that, mm-hmm. but the, I mean, the professor said it herself, man, that was like a really, really good concept. Yeah. Um, and it was ahead of the time. You want to elaborate more on it, that? It was ahead of the time. I, mean, I mean, we had something and it, it, it's one of those things that we had, if we had a time machine, I don't know if you've invented mm-hmm. one yet, but uh, if, if, if anybody's going to invent a time machine, this guy's going to do it first. I mean, I don't this, know about that. this guy's the most creative guy that I know. So, uh, yeah. If if you invent a time machine, try to find out the exact date that we can go back in time. But I don't know. You, you talk about it more. Oh, I actually probably I could figure out the exact date because I probably still have. I'm probably on a hard drive. I still have like our presentation. Oh, really? I probably oh, yeah. That'd be pretty I, cool. I can guarantee you, I still have the presentation. I would love to see those yeah. notes, man. But yeah, that was it was crazy. And actually, thinking back, I remember like two of the other groups uh, presentations their products i remember their products what was it one was a a heel with the it was a shoe with the removable heel like a a, that that sounds familiar yeah so basically it's it was a combo oh i I, I remember i I remember because the the it was a whole it was an all-girl uh group it was an all-girl group Uh and they were talking about yeah, I do remember that. I do remember about like you know because they're like the women, the mm-hmm. the women today are so like you know um, busy and they're you know they want to look they they want to look professional, but then this would help them. Mm-hmm. I do remember that. Yeah. I think that was the, they they might have had the second best presentation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, we were first. Uh, uh, yeah, of, yeah, obviously, and first place. Yeah. I think there was another group that had Dylan? had a uh, uh, it was something to do with like a toothbrush or something. Their product had Maybe. something to do with like a toothbrush. Maybe. I, all I remember was something about like I remember a picture of like a tooth like in their presentation. Okay. Like on one of the slides, like I remember yeah. that. But I, I want to say it was something to do with like uh, something to do with teeth. Okay. Something to do with teeth. Yeah. I don't remember that far back, but yeah. I do remember the heel one. I, yeah. I, now that you mentioned it, yeah. I actually remember one of the group members. What she looks like. I don't remember her name, but no, nah, don't ask me none of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I just remember you and Long. That's about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Long. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Long? <laughs> yeah. And so yeah, so like we're going back, get, trying to stay on track. Uh, so years, the, like two years after. No, bro, it, was it was it more. It was longer. It was longer. Okay, it was longer. So what, like 2011, 2012. Maybe I, around that. It was probably around that range, like 2012, or maybe later. Okay. Because you were the first one. Because I remember when you texted me something. Yeah, I came. Yeah, I came across it. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so uh, I'll let you. I like. Yeah, I like to 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 stay current on like technology and like uh, business innovations and stuff like yeah. that. And then so I came across this article, and basically. Like this new company that was starting off that are trying to help improve uh, baseball training, like help improve your swing and stuff like that. And then so I'm reading it and basically it's like a, a crappier version of our product yeah. that we came up with. Like 
five at least it was at least five years ahead before and then so like i remember coming out i was like oh my god are you serious they're coming out with our product actually a crappier version of like our product yeah. and i sent you and i you and long the articles yeah i remember i remember yeah. i remember, I remember yeah. reading that and yeah, I, was I was like they just stole our idea i remember that i yeah. i don't remember where i was but i remember getting the message from you and i remember yeah. and i think that the company was called zep yeah it was called zep yeah and um Oh, I just touched the mic. I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, that's if it's, fine. Okay. You're good. Uh, but I remember reading the article and there was – the only difference was that they had baseball, tennis, and golf, I think. Oh, and another thing – yeah, uh, another difference was basically their sensor was an add-on to your, to the bat. Right. So basically it was like a little like like a wrist strap almost yeah, yeah. with a little, little sensor and basically you attached it to, to the bat. Yeah. Our idea was the sensors were inside of the bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that would be a little more accurate. You yeah. Know? You know, because if you're adding the extra sensor, adding that extra weight mm-hmm. to the, like, on the exterior, and then plus just the positioning, it would affect your swing. Right. It? Yeah. Our idea was a lot yeah. better. And that right there just validates that we had a, a an awesome product ahead of its time. And, you know, which it, we came up all of because it was like a project. We had to come up with a product. For, for our school or for for the class and then so we came up with that that idea just out of nowhere and uh just looking back man it's i mean but so where where would even we begin i mean if i mean it's it's one of those things where like you look back and it's like yeah i mean we had such a cool product i mean it's now you know years down the road we found mm-hmm. out that you found the article zep yeah. And now there's this new one called Blast Motion, which is like the number one uh, sensor that's used by MLB. I mean, that's crazy. Something that we thought about, you know, years, MLB now has it. And I think Carlos Correa, you know, is one of the one of the spokespersons for Blast Motion. I just saw that on Twitter. Or not mm. Twitter. I was on Instagram the other day. Yeah. And you know how you have when you're going through stuff. Uh, you have like a sponsor, yeah, a sponsored ad, a sponsored ad, and yeah. it was and it was blast motion. So it was another punch to the gut, <laughs> another punch to the gut, and it was like you know the creators of Blast Motion now yeah. working with Carlos Correa, and and I, I just look back, and I was like, oh, that could have been us. We could have yeah, we, we we could have been the faces of uh, of Elite Pro Swing. Yeah, that was the name, Elite Pro Swing, which you came up with, because I think we uh, uh, I think we came up with Pro Swing as the name of the product yeah and i think somebody like it was it was a different company out there it wasn't it had nothing i I don't even think it was with it wasn't it wasn't baseball related that's right i think it was golf related yeah and then so it was like it was something different yeah something completely different we had to add something then you you're like well we just throw elite in front of like all right it was one of of those things like i mean everybody was using elite i mean so like elite just sounded like oh let's just add elite pro swing so yeah it gave it a nice ring to it i I remember the logo it was like this the like a baseball player like um doing a swinging motion with with the ball i mean it was it was legit i mean I would, I would. I wish I could go back in time and 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 relive that moment. That was that was pretty cool. And try to develop that idea and to yeah, turn I mean, it into I, a business. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, yeah, man. I mean, if we would have gone with gone with it, I mean, for us it was just a project. For yeah. us it was just a class project, and then, and then you look back and you see that you know people, you know, there was developers out there that actually went through with it. And I was like, mm. oh man, can you imagine? Yeah, but we had no money, man. <laughs> we had no money. <laughs> Absolutely no, no money. How we're we gonna fund all that technology? I know. I know. And who would give two little two college kids yeah. or well, a group of college kids? Yeah, we could have might we we could have cut two of them. Yeah, I we, we could have brought we, it along. No, we, we won't. We won't say any names. But I don't remember their names. I, I don't I'll name drop yeah. them. Like cut them. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I was like, we could have, but who would have given us money? Like, yeah. there was nobody. Two or a group of college kids, three three college kids yeah. who who came up with an idea like out of class because they had to. Yeah, it was it. It was a dope idea though. It was. And if if anybody had to take it, I I have a pretty good idea who took it. Who? It was the Russians. <laughs> It the was Russians. The Russians, man. Just blame the Russians. It was man. the Russians. They hacked. They hacked us, man. They hacked us and then they stole the idea. Damn. If we look into if we look at we have to look into the like the 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 founders of that Zep 
we have to look into them and then find the connection. There's, there's, it's some way. Yeah. Let's see if it's some way traces back to us. That that'd be interesting. That or I somebody would... else like that was it. It wasn't even in like our our group, our group, but somebody just in, in the, the class. Must have, it, probably, it probably was a professor. <laughs> yeah, it, was, no. it was, you know, it was probably it was probably the professor. She went and pitched our. She yeah. took our product. Yeah, she had the. I mean, that, she had the whole plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she she has a, a newborn baby, you know, on yeah. the way. She's like, you know what, this idea is gonna sell. You never know. I mean, it could have. I, I forgot. I forgot what her name was, but we gotta find. We gotta find out. We gotta look her up. And <laughs> see, see if she's the the CEO of Zep or, yep. or even Blast Motion. So. Mm-hmm. And she's but, probably. She was probably. She's yeah. It it could easily have been her. It could have been. It yeah, been. man. But that was not our path. That was you know. It I was, guess not. Honestly, I I wouldn't. I don't. I don't think I was ready. I, just looking back, I wasn't. I wouldn't have been ready. Yeah. Given like all my business ventures to now, I, I don't think I was ready back yeah. then. Of course I wasn't. I, I don't think I was ready. Now, like if we had, if we could tr- go back in time, yeah, knowing what we know now, yeah, I think we could easily, oh yeah, easily have developed that idea and came oh, yeah. out with that. Oh yeah, and you were talking about it in your earlier podcast with um with your buddy. Is it Bebo? Yeah, Bebo. Yeah, you guys were talking about how like you guys right now on the spot can think of a concept and just run with it. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things like you know if you have a great idea, if you have something, um, yeah, if you have something, run with it. You know, and yeah. so I mean we had one back in the day, but we just weren't ready for it. I mean it was yeah. it was it was too much. Yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's fun to look back. Though. It it is it is. But uh, yeah, and then we both graduated college. Yep. We stayed in touch. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, from there, man, we 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 got into this, started doing some other yeah we other worked, ventures. Yeah, we started working on some projects. But I, even before the projects, I remember I knew because when we when we when we first met, you talked about you had this uh, body shop that yeah. you you owned it with your with with your uncle. dad, your uncle, uncle. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you remember this, but that was like first like you know. Uh, that's how we first got to talk. Like, you know, I was just, I, I know nothing about cars, mm-hmm. nothing. And so it was cool to like talk to you and like, you know, if I had any questions, I would go to you. And I remember you started talking about like, yeah, you know, that you do paint jobs, that you do a whole bunch of stuff. And um, I don't know if you remember this, but I sent you a client. Uh, so uh, do you remember? I used to, I, there, so there was this one girl that I went to church with and she was all like, hey, do you know anybody that, that, that knows how to do like a paint job? Yeah. And and I was do you do you remember you're smiling like you're no you don't remember I don't remember at all man no okay no. so it was so because it's always I don't know if, if if anybody's like me but it's always like cool like when somebody is like ask a question and you're like oh yeah I know a guy yeah you know, you know <laughs> I was that guy yeah you were, you were that guy so it was yeah. it was pretty cool because I was you know she was talking about like something had happened to her car she didn't what, like what kind of car was it I don't remember I I, I don't know why I asked you cuz they it, all mesh together. Uh, it it was probably like a red Honda or a red a red a Mazda. But anyways, she talked about like, you know, like something happened to her car. She was she went to go take it to the uh, to the dealer. Yeah. Uh, the dealership and they're like it was like super crazy, like super crazy expensive. Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Does anybody know that knows how to do a like a, a like a paint job?" Yeah. And the light bulb went up. Yeah. And then I was all like, I know a guy, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it, and so everybody, everybody needs to have a guy that says like, oh, I know a guy that can help you out. And I sent and I gave her and I g- gave you a call and I gave you a contact. I gave her your contact number. Yeah. And she actually went to your body shop because I remember she came back the next day and she was like, oh, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Mike's such a great guy and this and that. You yeah. don't remember? Nope. Wow. But OK, just. Man. How many, I mean, you probably did like so many jobs. Yeah, that's that's, that's the thing. I'll, and they all mesh together. They all mesh together. Looking back, if I would have to say, give you a number, it's been, it's in the thousands. Wow. It's in the thousands. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, because looking back, just it was probably, just do some estimates. Okay, I, I did collision repair for 14 years. Mm-hmm. Uh I'd probably do maybe uh, well, some jobs I could do like in a couple of days. And then, well, there's other jobs that took a little longer, but just uh, easy estimate, just one a week, one, one job a week, one car a week. So, and that's, I worked seven days a week 
for 52 weeks. Wow. There's 52 weeks in a year, right? 54? Something like that. 52? <laughs> 52, 54. Yeah. 365 days. Just say that. Yeah, 365 yeah, yeah. days. Okay, so then there's 50-something <laughs> now I'm like, or was it less? It's probably close to a thousand, okay. if not into the yeah. thousand. Yeah, but yeah, they all mesh together, and I don't, uh, I don't remember most of them. So when I first met you, I knew yeah. you as Mike that can fix anything in a car, and yeah. I and I remember I don't know if you remember this one, but I remember I was in a I wasn't in an accident, but I was in the like the downtown area, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody sideswiped me and broke my rearview mirror, uh -huh. and I remember I was like. You know, I was like, oh, what am I going to do now? Yeah. And then I remember I called you like maybe like two days later and you actually like s fixed it for me. Do you remember that? You actually you actually ordered the parts for for me yeah. and, I, and I purchased them. And was I, it in this truck? Yeah. 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 It was the left. And I remember. You, I remember somebody breaking into your truck. I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I fixed it though. Mm, somebody did break into my truck, but that yeah. was like, that was more recent. That was like, that was, oh, at, okay. that was at work too. Uh, man, Dude, but yeah, I don't so, remember so I wasn't I, like, again, so I was trying to make like a left turn yeah. and then I got, I guess I got close to the, where the other car was coming and they just yeah. sideswiped me. They broke my, 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 um, what do you call it? Left review mirror, left side mirror, left side mirror. Yeah. Left side mirror. And I remember I was like, you know, I, the first person I thought I was like, you know, Mike, and I remember I told you all about it. You told me like, you know, you know, what, give me the, you're, you're asking for like the numbers, like the, I don't know. You're like I said, you're the year car guy. making model. Yeah, you were asking all, all those questions. Yeah, and I remember you got it for me, and I came in, and you, right here, right, right outside. Yeah, you you set it up for me, and uh, yeah, I mean, you like you took the whole door apart because uh -huh. you uh, you had to do something with it, and then yeah, you put it together, and just yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, I was probably here for about thirty minutes, and it was <laughs> done. So that's yeah. how I first. That's how I first. You know. That's how we first, like after college, you yeah. know, I, I knew that I could, you know, I, if I needed anything with me, with my truck or with anything, I'd go to you. Mm -hmm. um, when did the whole uh, photography, videography stuff happen? Do you remember? Because I know I've always had a passion for yeah. photography and for videography. I just never, I never, um, I just never went for it. I still yeah. remember our conversations. Um, uh, I remember... You coming with me to Best Buy? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You remember that? that? I remember. Okay, that, okay, <laughs> yeah, so that was that was probably about well, six years ago. It was six years ago. Six seven years ago. Oh wow! And I remember, I remember, I think it was it was your Photoshop skills that that it got it started because I, I you told me that you did Photoshop and mm. Photoshop to me is still like a different language. It's yeah. one of those things. I took some classes. I don't know if I told you, but last I remember, year, I remember you took some classes. Yeah. So last yeah. year at the Houston Center of Photography, I you yeah. know I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna be like Mike, I got to take this class. And I took the class. It was great. I I worked on I like I, I did a whole bunch of like Photoshop and so. It's. I remember you telling me, like, man, if you're gonna, if you, if you gotta, if, if you're gonna do it, you gotta, you, you gotta do it. You know, you gotta go to, you know, take something, take a class, teach yourself or something. Yeah. Um. I I recommended teaching. No. Well, yeah. I I remember. Well, I taught myself. Yeah. I was. Then I was like. I wish I, knew, I had. A, I, I knew you were the type of person you were, so I was like, you're a little more hands on. Yeah. Kind of like. Yeah. Needed somebody to kind of guide you. Right through it so. yeah i wish i had that skill set where yeah. it's one of those things like you can like you're you're like you're like uh, neo is it neo? <laughs> from neo, the matrix from the matrix no i'm no neo it's, it's one of those it's like you know that once there was a, that one scene in the movie where he's like, like he's like getting pro like he's learning something and he goes i know kung fu just like like in seconds yeah. you know that's that's who you are you're, you're that type of person boom 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 you work on it and like hey i know photoshop in like in in seconds so i wish i had that skill set but not seconds but Little exaggeration, <laughs> little exact. I'm not that good. Well, Photoshop, I'm pretty comfortable, but I'm not. I'm not that good in, in the sense where I, in seconds, I could pick it up. Yeah, it takes a while. It takes practice, just like anything. Yeah, and it's really with pho Photoshop, it's more of like getting hands on with it. Yeah, it's like going through like the just the tools, figuring out what tool does what, and right. messing around with things, and then you start picking up, and then. Yeah. Then you're like, man, how can I do this? And then we'll just like figuring it out. Just yeah. like Google, like, okay, how can I do this? Like, right. okay, go here, go there. And yeah. like, oh, that's how you do that. And then just yeah. pick it up and then just keep going yeah. and going. And I remember when I took my when I took that class last year, um, 
once we started, they, once they started teaching us, teaching us about layering, yeah, I remember I did my first edit, and I, th- I think I texted you that did, did I, did you get the one the the Astros? I did it like an Astros logo, yeah, yeah, I remember with that. like like a Garrett Cole because I, I, I think at that time the Astros had just signed Garrett Cole, traded, they traded for, yeah, yeah. They, they they traded for Garrett Cole, and I did like a a little quick edit of him with the with an Astros logo, and I was just like, man, it just it just felt pretty cool to do something yeah. like that. Um, but going back to uh, going back to the very beginning, I remember, yeah. I remember I had told you like, you know, my passions have been, I have always been photography and videography. Mm. Like I always wanted to, you know, that would, I wanted that to be my creative outlet. Cause I felt like, you know, I, I felt like I had an eye for things. I, you know, I, I, I saw things differently. I've always been that type of, you know, uh, films has always been something that I've enjoyed. And, uh, and I remember I, I, I just kept talking about it. I just kept talking about it. And you were like, I still remember the message. I don't know if I, I, I still have it, but yeah. I remember the message and you're all like, if you're going to like, you know, if you're going to do it, you got to do it now. Yeah. And I, I just remember you being so stern with me. You're, <laughs> you're just like, you know, it was a message, but I felt the impact. Yeah. And so I remember I was like, all right, that's it. That, that's, that, that, that's exactly what I needed. I remember mm-hmm. I called you up and you're like, Hey, do you want to come with me to go by the camera? Cause at that time I was like, I don't know. I mean, I, I all I know is I wanted a camera. It's yeah. like, do I get a Nikon? Do I get a Canon? Mm-hmm. And I think you had a Canon. Yeah, I had a Canon. You had a Canon, and I was re- and I remember in college uh, when I you know when I finished my homework, um, I would go into YouTube or not YouTube, but I w- I found out about Vimeo. Yeah, and Vimeo was my first look at um, the Nikon D ninety, mm-hmm. and I found this one uh, this one channel where a whole bunch of artists from all over the world would post their videos using the Nikon D ninety. So I was always like, you know, Nikon, 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 yeah. you know, because that's the first thing that I saw. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember I, I asked you to come along with me. We went to we went to Best Buy. And I remember you're like you were talking me talking me through the whole thing. Like yeah. You were telling me I was like, OK, with the Nikon, you can do this with a Canon. You can do that. And I would my mind was set on the Nikon. Mm-hmm. So I went with the Nikon. And you know, now that I look back, I, you know, do I do I go with Canon? Cause I like with the Canon, you had that, um, with, uh, what do you call it? The, the screen the articulating screen. Yeah. You can, you can move it around and yeah. I wish I could have gone back. Cause you know, I, I, it is challenging to like record video at different angles because of the, the Nikon camera. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I remember that day when I bought the camera, it was just like, I was like, this is, this is the beginning of something. I was yeah. like, you know, I was, I was so happy that I purchased my camera, my first official, you know, uh, DSLR camera, I was just like I was just thinking of all the possibilities, and uh, and then I remember like you texted me like a week later like Have you done anything with your camera? <laughs> and, and I'm like I was like No, I haven't. You know, it's yeah. it's still in the case. I haven't. You know, I haven't really had a chance to do it. And I remember you got stern with me again. You're all like, What are you waiting for? You know, you, you got to do it now. Mm-hmm. And I remember that same night. Uh, so my brother was still in uh, was in was in, was, in, was uh, varsity baseball. And I remember that same night um, he was going to go work out. And I told him, I was like, hey, uh, I have this idea. Is Do you mind if I go with you? So he was. He went to go meet up his his pitching coach because they were going to do some type of workout. Mm-hmm. And I remember that message. It, it stuck with me. You're like, you got to do something now. So I was like, I, hey, can I come with you? I have this idea. And I've always been a fan of, of – of, I'm a big fan of sports and boxing, baseball, uh, football – I've always been that type of guy. I always like the th- that's the stuff that happens before the actual event happens. Mm-hmm. I've always been big on what do you call them? Like um, what are the, what's it called? Like the pregame stuff, the yeah. the pregame video. Like this past one from last week for the Patriots and the Chiefs. It was an amazing. CBS put on this amazing like one one minute clip of it. Just sh- shows you the culmination of a season and it brings them to that. Mm-hmm. So I've always wanted to do something like that. So. Um, and then even HBO, HBO boxing, they, they would do 24 seven. Yeah. And I, I think I talked to you about that yeah. and I, it was, tw- I've, I've, you know, like, I want to do something like that. Like, you know, do something behind the scenes type of stuff. So I was thinking like, okay, so who's going to be my first, my first, uh, project. And I was like, well, I got my brother. Let me, let me see if I can use him. And yeah, that was my first, I, my first official video was him doing like a workout. I still remember that video. You still remember? Yeah, I remember that video. Uh, yeah. it, it was, I still have it on my laptop. I, you know, I, I, it's, it's one of those videos that I look back and it's just one of those things where like, you know, I don't, I, 
I'm one of those perfectionists is like, I wish I, when I go, when I look at it, I was like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? But it was a start. And that's, start. And, and that's what you told me. Yeah. Like, and that, that was the important thing. I was like, I remember I was like, I, and I know I could be tough on you. I know I could be a tough on you sometimes. <laughs> that's what I, I need. That, no, that's, yeah. what, that's what I needed. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're the big brother that I never had. You know, yeah. it's, it's one of those things where like, uh, that's what I needed. Uh-huh. I, I, you know, I needed a, a big brother, you know? Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, no. Yeah. Cause, uh, with me, I was like, you know what? There's, there's always, and I tell this to people and there's always an excuse not to start something. Yeah. There's always an excuse. You can always find one reason or another not to start actually doing something like whether you're scared or whether you're putting off, uh, like, oh, I'm tired right now, or yeah. oh, I don't know what to shoot, or oh, uh, you know, I just don't feel right, or uh, there's there's always something. You could always put blame on something and else. And for and for me, it was yeah. always like, uh, I'm not gonna be good enough. You know, yeah. it, it was it was always that thing. Like I had the ideas in my head, but it was always like, I'm not gonna be good enough. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I see, it's 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 just not gonna be good enough. But no, man, that what what you did was, you know, you, you gave me the, the push, the push that I needed. Yeah. And I remember that first video, it was just like, OK, after that first video was done, I remember just watching it. It just it felt so amazing. There's there's no feeling there, there's not a there's nothing that I can describe it when you create something and then you see it, you yeah. know, and then you share it with others and you see their reactions. I mean, it's it's an unbe- it's an unbelievable feeling to you know to show people, and and yeah. that's with anything, you know, whether whether it be the guy that you sp- with, uh, yikes. I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, with when he creates something. I mean, your new uh, your new logo there. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Like whether you what what whatever it is that you create, man, it's just it's an unbelievable feeling when when it's up here and then you actually see it. Mm-hmm. And um, so yeah, I I don't know if I, I I'm pretty sure I've told you, you know. I've already I've said thank you, but yeah, I haven't said it on the podcast. So, <laughs> so, so thank you, Mike, for 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 being that big brother for pushing yeah. me, and because uh, that's exactly what I needed at that time. Mm. And um, yeah, and so that that led to like you know that led to more projects. I yeah. I, I remember um, uh, we've done how many projects have we worked on? So so uh, as soon as we were done with that video, I came to you. This was in 2014. This was 2014. Uh, my brother had was 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 in his was in his sophomore year of of, of high school. Yeah, and I wanted to do something uh, for the baseball team, mm-hmm. and I didn't know what that was, but I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do it by myself. So that's when I called you, and I told you I was like, "Hey, Mike, you know, I have this idea, and um, and uh, you know, I need your help." And yeah. it, and so I, I I don't know. I think we you we we use U of H as our like our brainstorming center like we would yeah. go there and we would it was convenient for both of us yeah, it was probably like the the centralized yeah, location yeah so it was yeah. it was it was good to go back and we got to see the new renovations of u of h which is like completely different it's amazing from, now it's, from where we when we went i mean it, it's 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 a it's a what what, what do they call it now it's a tier one something like that tier one school something like yeah. that but i remember just coming to you with the with the idea and uh you're, and you've always uh, – this is what I like about Mike. Mike is always positive. I mean you're always like – you're like – you see no downside. You're like, let's do it. I mean you're yeah. all – and so when I came with you with the concept of, of you know, shooting what, – what, what was it? It was kind of like a behind the scenes because um, actually the first – no, it was it was the championship game. Do you remember in 2014? Yeah, I remember that. Oh. Did we shoot something before though? Like with your brother and – uh Oh, so you, okay. So was that before? No. So actually, what it was, it was your Photoshop skills that came in first, because uh, it was my brother's first year in varsity, and I wanted to do something special for the whole team. The banners. The banners. The first banners. The first banners. Yeah. So it was. So it was. It so, was were they still wearing the orange? Um, I no, they were wearing the, the, black, the black uni. They're wearing black uni. So the orange. I thought ones, the black one was the second one. Oh no, I'm mixing up the years. Yeah, the black one was the first year, yes. and then the the the, ap- the orange was yeah. in the, was in the the last year, their of, senior, the year. senior year, yeah. the 2016. Yeah, but I remember I came to you and I is and so it was a big game. It was uh, uh Dobie High School. Uh, shout out to Dobie Baseball for giving us uh for for saying yes, but yeah. um. It was a big game. It was Doby versus Paraline at that time. It was they were both undefeated, and yeah. I had this idea. Again, it was an idea, but I, I I had no idea how to work Photoshop. 
So I came to you with the idea is like, hey, Mike, can you do this banner for this big game? Mm-hmm. And I remember, I mean, we were, you were working on it. And I mean, you it, it exceeded expectations. What I had in mind, you just took it to the next level. And I remember uh, we shared that with, with that team and it just gave them like a jolt. Like, you know, everybody was just so pumped to see that poster. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember that night uh, they won. They So they beat the number one ranked uh, team at the time. Yeah. And uh, they gave Pearland their first loss. And then that year they, they went, um, did they go undefeated? Yeah. They went undefeated that year. The, and so... It's, it's so yeah so they they went undefeated that year and um they went to the championship game t- or to win the district and they have not done that in 16 years mm-hmm. 16 years they have not won a championship and i remember telling you like this is like a big moment like yeah. you know i was like we got to get this on film and so you know we you, we went to the to the championship game yeah. you you recorded the behind the scenes we got there about an hour or, uh, an hour or two early just to see you know the setup and um we did like we did a premiere of it. So, so okay, so maybe I'm getting a little bit far ahead of myself. <laughs> but the game was intense, so yeah. it, it was it, again. So the team that they beat to uh, to give them their first loss, they met them in the championship game. Mm-hmm. This time, Dobie played them at at home, and it was an intense game. We were inside the clubhouse with the guys. Um, you were getting the, the you know the behind the scenes footage, and um, I remember. Uh, it was a close game. Doby had the lead, and my brother comes in to pitch, and yeah. he was the closer at that time. And that at that time, I was done with my camera because I was also taking video. Yeah. But at that time, I was done because I was too nervous. I was like, <laughs> you know, I was I was focused on my brother. But you were the professional one. You kept your camera. You kept your you kept your 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 um your professional about it, and you were the one that taking video. And uh, so my brother goes in to pitch. You know, they they he closes out the game. First championship in years. You rush out onto the field. You get the footage of, of the dog pile, and uh, man, what an amazing moment! And it, it's one of those things that I look back and it's like I'm so glad that we were able to catch that on film. Mm-hmm. Even my parents still talk about this till this yeah. day. They were so happy that you came in and and you did that because that's one of the things that you know, you you we. I mean, my 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 dad every now and then I'll, I'll yeah, he'll he'll tell me like I I saw that video again that you guys that you guys created. Yeah. Um, but that was the very first project that we did, uh, was the, was the high school. We video wise, the, the, yeah, vi- yeah. the video wise. Yeah. Um, I remember that one. And yeah. I, one thing, what sticks out the most, I made a mistake in the video. You did? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, just doing like the recap uh-huh. of when, uh, when Jesse, your brother yeah. came in, I was like, I put ninth inning, but technically in high school. Yeah. Like, like, oh, I do they remember just, that. They just I, go to yeah. the seventh. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was the seventh inning yeah. that he came in. Yeah. yeah I know. Oh, okay. Now, now, just see, just being the perfectionist, like yeah. that I am, I was like, no. that error sticks out in my mind. But what, what's so cool about that video was all the different angles that you yeah. were you able to capture that one shot. I mean, that uh-huh. we, I mean, we look back at that shot and it's just so memorable, uh-huh. you know, the, the, for the, for the school to win, to win their first title in 16 years for us to capture that. Yeah. So I mean I don't I don't I don't know if we brought them luck I mean <laughs> I mean who who knows but you know, yeah. that team was so talented I mean uh, they got they they again they won their first district title in sixteen yeah. years um, and so that was the very first project that we worked on and yeah. I I remember we did like a premiere yeah we did the premiere I remember the premiere too we, I, yeah I was yeah. so nervous that day because this was the first time that the whole you know this was at the very end of the season yeah you know all the teams were there varsity JV. Uh, the sophomore team i want to say like it was it was at the school cafeteria and yeah. there was like what 200 people yeah but i was expecting like a way smaller venue because i was thinking oh you, you had mentioned it was gonna be in the cafeteria yeah. and i was just thinking like my old high school's cafeteria yeah. which is like way smaller yeah. like way more crappier that uh, I remember walking in, I was like, "Man, this is pretty big," and yeah. they had like a huge like screen ready yeah. for us. Yeah. I'm like, "Man, yeah, no, it's crazy." Yeah, I do remember that, yeah. and um, I remember once it was done, uh, somebody made a comment saying yeah. that they had just felt like they had watched a uh, uh, an ESPN thirty for thirty. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I think it was the head coach that said that. Yeah, I think it was the head coach that said something like, "I like as soon as the video was done, that everybody was clapping." The coach went up and he was all like, you know, man, I felt like I just watched the thirty for thirty. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good, man. I, I, I mean, you do great work, and so that was like, 
Oh, and then there was also another video that that uh, I don't know. You 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 turned me into a major league prospect. I don't. I, <laughs> That's I don't, the one I remember. That, that was before the championship. Right? That was the championship game. That was that before. Was before. That was yeah. before. That's the one I remember too. Like when uh, you, uh, your brother, and uh, Tyler. 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 Yeah. Hey, Tyler's Tyler's still playing. Tyler's at, really. Yeah, he's at uh, Ole Miss. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing college ball at Ole Miss. So, uh, you know, good, shout out man. to Tyler. Shout out to Jesse. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's still playing. But yeah, so I do remember that was like because you wanted to. We wanted to get a, a a feel for the for the field. Yeah, just we, to see if we we could pull it off. Yeah, just to see the dimensions. Where yeah. we, where where do we want to stand? So I remember. Um, and I, yeah, because and then I remember like I had to get like a special filter. Like yeah, that, yeah. that 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 was one thing I wanted to check out. Yeah. I was like I I needed a special filter on my lens to be yeah. able to shoot like yeah. when the at the because it was gonna be super sunny and stuff yeah. like that. And then so I, that's why I wanted to go check it out like before just yeah. to get an idea, of, be ready for. Yeah. For when we the 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 actual championship game that right. we could be able to capture whatever we need to be able to capture, yeah. but yeah, and I, yeah, I remember that video too. You uh, yeah, pretty much everything that I hit was a home run. We didn't. We didn't <laughs> oh yeah, you crushed it. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. I had I had that nice you know swing oh, and. Yeah. Uh, I you added like that bullet sound effect every every, every, every time that I would hit the baseball, yeah. it would be a gunshot. Like you know, I, you even, like, I think you even added like you know that ball traveled like a four hundred fifty oh, yeah. feet. The projected, the, yeah, the projected. Yeah. yeah, I I actually just saw that video um, when I was looking for your podcast. Yeah, I t- I typed in your name and uh-huh. I saw all, all the videos that you posted. and I saw that one. And I was like, oh yeah. man, <laughs> good times, good times. Yeah. I think you hit a. Uh, on one of them that I couldn't play off because uh because uh, of the low trajectory yeah like you hit it pretty low I I did like a a, a little like the cat yeah, like you hit meow. a cat yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you did yeah so, yeah I remember that one too man yeah but uh that just kind of led to 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 more projects mm. and and more photo shoots yeah. and video shoots so yeah so we've we've done we've done photo shoots we've done uh we did a one wedding together yeah we did a wedding and i remember uh they came to me like it was like last minute last minute super and i was just last minute. super last minute they yeah. come to me and i was like how am i gonna do this <laughs> and uh, and i remember like texting you i think i even called you i was like hey mike hey man i there's another project there's there's money yeah. involved you know uh you know and uh yeah, man, you, we, we, you said yes. Like, again, like I said, you know, Mike always Mike always found a way to do it. Let's and make it happen. We just, can make stuff yeah. happen. Though. So we did a we did a wedding together. I won't talk about that because that's not that's not something that I wanted. You know, wedding was kind of like it was something that you can like put a check off, yeah. like check off your list. But it's not what I wanted to do. You, know? you don't like it either, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, I don't uh, like them. Just I don't like them either, man. Yeah, it's, it's just, just it's just like you have no control. It's yeah. it's one it's it's not what I wanted to do. And it's funny because when you pick up a camera and then your family and your friends start finding out that you do photography. It's like everybody, that's all they want you to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so weddings, weddings, uh, and quinceañeras, and yeah. I was like, no, that's not exactly what I want to do. Yeah. Um, but the one, the one that I want to talk about was uh, working with Master Chef Luca Manfe. That's probably that's that was, was was that our last one that we worked together. I think it might have been. Yeah, I think that it, it might have been our or last video that we've done together yeah last video that we worked yeah. on, but that was probably like the most special one that was that was that one that one was good yeah that one that was that was nice that was yeah. that one was pretty sweet um so yeah first of all you know luca monfe you know thank you for saying yes for letting us you know work on this this video project for yeah. you but uh shout out to luca yeah shout out to luca um uh, but yeah so i remember who were you the one that told me about the audi uh audience awards Remember the audience awards? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think I told you. Yeah. So we had, so I had brought it up, you, like, yeah, because like, uh, I, I came across in like an article uh, where you could they were doing some like competition, yeah. and uh, what was it? What was the exact competition? Oh, they they were showcasing small businesses. Small businesses. Yeah. Small, small businesses. So you came, you came to me with uh, that. Or you know, I, I just sent it to you. Just yeah, like you know, hey, check it out. Yeah. And I remember at that time I was like, I was needing like a new project. I was uh-huh. like, you know, I, I wanted to work on something and I've always been a fan of, um, of Netflix chef's table. I've always been, I, I, I love documentaries. I love those. Uh, and even, uh, not, not actually documentaries, but kind of like, what, what would you call like, um, 
So there's a show called on Netflix called Chef's Table. Mm-hmm. I've seen a couple episodes. Okay, it's it's pretty it, it's dope. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So yeah. so it's it's like they introduce you to the main chef, yeah. and they tell you about his background, where he started, where his, where his you know passion for food comes from. They show you where you know uh, his restaurant, and mm-hmm. they show you every type of like you know his his best um, his best dishes. Yeah. So I've always wanted to do something like that. So the first person that I thought of when you when you showed me the link was with was with Luca, mm-hmm. and Luca has this thing called Dinner with Luca where he. Um, so if you know if you don't know who Luca is, Luca, uh, if you're a show if you're a fan of the show Master Chef, uh, he he won the whole thing season four. And uh, he had this thing called Dinner with Luca where he would go to your home, uh, you know, and it was like legit. He would do a fourth course meal, appetizers, entrees, desserts. Can't think of the other one. Um, but at that time, uh, I remember uh, I, I, I researched him and one of the craziest things, like, so he he's from New York. He's, you know, he, mm-hmm. he lived in New York. But when I was reading his bio, he's like, I, and now I'm now I'm uh, now I'm living in Houston. I was like, no freaking way! This this guy Luca, the the guy that I watched on TV, is living in Houston now. Yeah. So I reached out to him. Uh, it was it, it, during this time my sister had just gotten married, and I wanted to do something special. So uh, I I hired Luca Manfed to do the dinner with Luca. Surprised my whole family. Such a cool experience. And I remember talking to him like afterwards, and I was like, hey. You know, I have this idea, you know, you know, that I've always wanted to do, uh, you know, I, I have this I have a friend of mine that we both do videography. We would love to do work with you. We would love to do a video. Yeah. And I remember, I mean, he was like super nice, the nicest guy that you'll ever meet. Yeah, he is. He is. He's really, really nice. Yeah. So, yeah. so he he said yes, and I remember I was like super stoked. I I texted you like Mike. He said yes. You know, you know, let's work on this together. Yep. I you know I feel like you know with your skill set and 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 mine we can crush it. Yeah. And um, so that whole thing, that whole experience was probably my by by far as as a videographer. Yeah. Was probably my highlight. Has been the highlight just to work with yeah. him, just to see him, and we actually we we were able to get like a this um. We were, we were able to get this uh, this nice condo yeah. in downtown Houston because we were kind of looking for um, like a, this nice kitchen area where you can work at. And uh, yeah, man, I remember I remember that day. I mean, you you killed it that day. You the, the lighting, the audio, um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's that's probably been the you know one of the highlights uh, mm-hmm. working with you. It's in, in um, I remember. As soon as the the whole editing was, or as yeah. soon as the whole shooting was done, yeah. the whole the whole editing process. I don't know how many times I came over, you know, you know, you know, to, you know working on it. Yeah, but, but um, he he actually used it on his website. He did, did yeah. So that's dope, man. So he it's still if you go to Luca Monfe, you you can still see the video that we worked yeah. on, and and uh, so he. Well, I'll post the the uh, a link to the video in yeah, the description yeah. below. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, so, it was such a great. So work. if y'all want to check it out, you know, uh, yeah, man, and I really, I really, li- I I liked how that video turned out, and uh, with with my videos, there's always like something where I could pick out like a shot that I I don't really like that I incorporate in there just because I I kind of have to to tell the to to tell the whole story and the whole narrative, but looking back at that uh that that lucas lucas video the for the dinner with luca that video in there there was not one shot i didn't like yeah that video i was like i liked every single shot in there i thought that was it was dope and i thought it all worked out it, it all went together really well mm-hmm. and uh it told the 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 story that we needed to tell mm-hmm. And and we vis- had to, and you and we had to keep it under what was it two minutes? Yeah, I think it was under two minutes. Yeah, that was our so, our time limit. So it was like an all day shoot, and that's and that's crazy when you think about it. Like we got there like around what like nine o'clock in the morning to set up. No, it wasn't that early. I think it was early. What time did Luca Luca got there? Like in the afternoon, he didn't get. Okay, so it might have been like we maybe we got there like at ten a.m. and Luca got there maybe like around noon. one. I, I I think he was supposed to come at noon, but he he ran a little late. Remember? Okay, I think okay. he came like. But I remember late. I wanted to be there early. That yeah. way we, we, you can set up like the lights and you know I just kind of like get a feel for how we're gonna where do we're it. gonna shoot. Yeah, and, yeah. Where, where he needs to be positioned. So we got there early for to to do that. Yeah. And then when we got there, you know, we were ready to go. The yeah. whole it was pretty cool to interview him, ask him yeah. a couple questions, and uh, super cool guy, man. I uh, that's by far one of the you know one of my highlights is working with him, working yeah, with you, man. and uh, 
Um, I can tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give a little inside scoop to the to the listeners, to the viewers. Yeah. You were super nervous going into that show. I was. Before I was. Luca got there, you were extremely nervous. And that's, that, that's <laughs> I don't remember. Honestly, I don't. I, I probably blacked out. I, it, it was because I think. At that time, it was probably the biggest project. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was the biggest project that I was in. Yeah. I remember you looking like he was there. He was like setting up, and then you would come over to me. He's like, "Oh my God, it's Luca Monte." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, I, I remember yeah, that. I was, I was like, "Calm down, dude." <laughs> yeah, no, I was definitely fan. What was what's it? Fanboying. Yeah, fanboying out. Yeah, man, because, I mean, this guy was, you know, this guy was our favorite watching him compete in that show. Yeah. And um, I just couldn't believe it that he was, you know, in in the room and we yeah. were actually going to work, work with on him. Some, yeah, working something together. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah you're, you're right. I mean, I was nervous. I don't remember the actual day, uh, what happened. Yeah. But that whole that whole sequence was fun. Um, yeah. and it, it, was, it was. It was really great working with him. That was cool, man. Really good dude. And another thing that sticks out from the video is that was another time I was extremely tough on you. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was. I, I was. Remember. I was extremely tough on you then, man. I remember. Just, just know that the toughness comes out of love. All right. Okay. It's, it's, it's that push that you know, you know, I want you to, yeah. to, to, to get better, to, to improve yeah. your skills, yeah. and with uh with you or with anybody like that i'm helping with like uh if in terms of like business wise or, yeah. or project wise i want everybody that that i help yeah i want them to do like bigger things right uh i want them to, honestly to be better than what i am i want to push them and make them better than what i am i want them to exceed like anything that i'm capable of yeah. doing i was like i would get us like a I'd be like uh, extremely like happy to see that, you know, yeah. to see like people that that I've kind of like helped out like yeah. along the way, maybe taught them some things yeah. to get better than what I'm capable of doing. Yeah. I mean, that that would be like an, uh, that that would be amazing to me. Yeah. And then so I know I'm tough on you at times. I I, I get mad because sometimes I I, I feel like you're like kind of kind of stagnant. You're like. You're not working to get a little better. Yeah. Like it's like we bring back the 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 whole Photoshop thing. Yeah. Like I, I was like, man, I was like, you just if you want to get better, just yeah, dive into Photoshop and start messing mm -hmm. around, start yeah. doing stuff, look up tutorials, yeah. man. Uh, oh no, then, I remember. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, a little thing uh, like going back to the Lucas video, I remember I was tough on you because of the. The editing, yeah. yeah, mainly the editing. I was like, I was like, and the fact that I had another video shoot that I was doing, yeah, uh, and then like I had put off, like holding off, like editing that video to edit this video yeah. with Luca, and then uh, <laughs> I remember I was extremely tough on you, and yeah. then I was like, man, I was like, come on, man, you say you want to be a, yeah. a videographer, you want to be a filmmaker, man, yeah. you got to learn these things, yeah. man, if you want to do this. Yeah, no, and that's ex and that's exactly it, what I needed. It was yeah. it was like a what's what's the way to say it? It was like a, a wake up call. Yeah, it was one of those things like you know here I am, um, wanting to do you know tell stories, but you know I'm not putting in the work. So yeah. it was one of those things that like you know that's exactly yeah I remember that day yeah, yeah it was. It was like you know that that's exactly what a big bro does. It's yeah. like you know if you if you if you see if you see somebody not reaching their their full potential, mm. then you, you know you have to call them call call them out. And uh, so yeah, no, I remember, and, yeah. and, and it, it 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 served me for the best, you know. It, um, uh, so yeah, no, like I said, you know, you know, thank you for being, you know, thank you for being you, and you know, it, hey, I'm always gonna be here if you ever need yeah. help. You, you know, yeah, you can reach sure. out. You can reach out to me, and yeah. then of course I'm gonna help and stuff like that. Sweet. If you ever need some advice, or if you want me to help out with some things, yeah, so, no, you know I mean, I'm here we, for you. Yeah, no, we we yeah. actually we actually talked about uh, uh, shooting a film together. We're, you know, yeah, so, man, that was even just creating that was fun. Just yeah. coming up with the ideas, yeah, to to, so there, to shoot that you was know, fun. There's something you know. Who knows? You know, down the line, if we yeah, if man, we, we still still got the idea. Oh man, I kind of expanded on it a little bit. Did you? Yeah, just playing around with it, man. Uh, 
We'll save it. I, okay. I, I, I will. I will. I won't say what it is. Okay. Or, yeah, but we'll, we'll keep one, it. We'll keep it under wraps. Yeah, we'll we'll save it, man. But yeah, man. So, uh, is there any stuff that you've been working on now? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if you know this, but I, I, I think I have to tell everybody this. You know, I was off of social media for two years. Like completely. I know. I was like, I yeah. mean, what happened to Mike? You yeah. just, you just, I was like, you know, I was. So I haven't kept up with like anybody, and it's nothing personal. It was, it was just more that like I needed to do it for myself. It was a personal journey. Yeah, for you. man. I needed to get off. You know, I needed to to get my mind right into a place where where I could come back eventually and be part of the the whole social media. Yeah. With because with me, just in general, I'd prefer to be. Like to me, I consider like social media, like online, all that stuff, you know, just like a, it, I guess it's more because of the people that are involved and the other people. There's so many people that, you know, they're fake on there. They're just posting, you know, so much uh, stuff that, that, that like, I, I'll look at it like, I know you in person. I know for a fact, I was like, you're not living this type of yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. And then so just just stuff like that in general. So I was like, man, you know what? I consider that like a whole like like I wouldn't say like a whole little made up world, mm -hmm. a whole little made up world. Yeah. And I like to kind of like a little old school, man. I like, you know, being in the like the real world and just like right. doing actual stuff and not being tied to my phone and looking at the screen all the time yeah. and stuff like that. And. So yeah, I had to I had to take a step back. So I haven't kept up with like anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, like uh I I, I do absolutely zero prep for these uh, <laughs> uh podcast episodes. And actually you're the one that did the the whole prep for this episode. Uh he's been the most prepared guest. <laughs> he did he did all the work for me, basically. He had his little list of like talking points we could go over. He sent it to me. I was like, man, this is a great list. I'm just going to use this. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, like, I haven't kept up with like stuff that you've been working on yeah. or anything like that. No, so. I mean, well, uh, th thank you for, for, you know, yeah, I want to know for, for, for inviting me. This of is, course, this, this is so cool. Yeah. I feel like we should have got this over with at the very beginning. <laughs> I, I, I even said, I even yeah. said, Hey Mike, what do I say in the very beginning? Yeah. I was like, and I was like, can I just say happy new year? And, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, so, yeah. I remember maybe it was two years ago you reached out to me like it was like December and you're like telling me hey do you remember Lance and you know like he's coming out yeah. with, he's coming out with his film premiere mm -hmm. I was like no way and uh and you're like hey you know you know I, I did you I don't know if you had an extra ticket or if I if oh, I, the tickets were free the tickets but, were free but but I wanted I was like hey you want to come yeah yes yeah. yeah. come on so, let's go yeah so we went yeah. to the we went to the premiere and it was at that um Houston match something it was like this new theater in in like in Midtown area, yeah. and I remember we were in line and we were like we 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 uh we saw the poster for his for his Gold Line film. Yeah, you were telling me that like you know hey Lance has his own film he's gonna premiere it. and I I I still remember the day December second it was like mm. you know so cool to see one of the guys that we went to school with was having a film premiere. Yeah, so we show up to the place we go we find a seat in the auditorium and then the film starts playing and it was like fifteen minutes. And the shots were just amazing. It yeah. was it was pretty cool. And I remember just thinking to my head, I was like, man, I, I want to experience that. You know, like mm -hmm. this is this is what I want to do. I want to be a filmmaker. I want to tell stories. And um, we stayed throughout the whole thing. We yeah. we we um uh, Lance had like a little presentation with his producer, and then there was like a QA. Yeah. And then we waited until the QA was over. We walked up to him and yeah. we were like, you know, we were we was like, hey, what's up, Lance? How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah. And I just remember telling Lance, like, you know, congratulations, you know, you know, that that night I felt even more inspired. You know, mm -hmm. it, was, it was one of those things like, you know, I want to I want to be on that stage one day, you know, whether it be, you know, whether it be for a film, whether it be for, you know, I just wanted to be a part of something like that. And um, so I reached out to him and I told him. So this was I don't know, maybe this was a, maybe a last year or something. But I just reached out to him. I was like, hey, man, congratulations on your film. So great. And I, I just told him, like, hey. If you ever need anything, if you ever need help on anything, you know, you know, I, I would love to to help you out, mm -hmm. you know. And um, so in February, this past February, he he called me. He was just coming back from this film festival in Austin with his producer, Caleb. And he called me and he was all like, hey, I have this I have this film that I that I wrote. And um, 
we need to do a campaign fundraising video for it, you know, in order for it to get, you know, for it, for it to reach people, for it, for us, for us to fund it. And he told me, I was like, you know, would you be interested in, 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 in doing that video? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, man. I was like, I didn't even have to think about it. I was like, yeah. let's do it. I mean, whatever you have in mind. So, uh, we met up and, um, he told me more about, about, about the film, but uh, it was, he needed my help with, um, recording the, the, the actual video for the fundraising video. Okay. Um, and we shot it at this church in downtown and, you know, he put, he put it all together in a great fundraising video, uh, for his, for his, for his short film, uh, sky. And then, uh, he, he later, and I, I remember that day I told him, I was like, man, this is so cool, man. You know, I, you know, I you know, can't wait to look, can't wait to see it. And then he was all like, uh, I told, I, then I, I told him, I was like, you know, I would, I would love to be on set, you know, even if it's just for one day, I would love to be on set. And he goes, oh yeah, that's that's cool, man. You definitely, definitely, I'll let you know. And then I want to say it was probably like either March or April that I get a text message from him and saying, hey, would you be interested in being the assistant director for Sky? Man. And I was just like, uh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I, w- I was like, I would love to be a part of it. Yeah. And so pretty much what Lance gave me was probably the, the a front row seat. What he gave me was an opportunity to be to have like a front row seat. Of, of what it takes to to make a film, you yeah. know, I've always had the idea of making a film, but I I didn't I didn't know the the magnitude of making a film, mm-hmm. and um, so he came to me and and he and he and he goes, would you like to be the assistant director? I said yes. I mean, um, I mean, whatever you need, I'll do. And um, so we had some meetings, we had some meetings before, uh, and he pretty much told me my responsibilities, what it takes to be assistant uh, an assistant director. And, uh, I was, I mean, I was all for it and he was telling yeah. me, he was all telling me it, it's going to be tough. And, and, and it was tough. Mm-hmm. Um, so he, he pretty much let me be a part of the, uh, the whole audition. I was a part of the, the pretty much the pre-production, okay. which was the audition process, which was, which was pretty cool. I mean, Houston has a lot of talented, uh, artists, mm-hmm. uh, actors here. So the, like the casting, the casting. Yeah. Yeah. So he, uh, uh, him and the producer took care of the whole, you know, the whole um, casting, the backstage. He used this website. I think it's called Backstage. Uh, but I was part of the whole audition process. Again, I was recording all the ad- auditions and, and he only selected the best ones because uh, he said that he got a lot of auditions for the for the short film. But he, o- he only called back the ones that were really that really stood out. And um, so uh, we did two days of casting. Credible experience. I mean, talented actors. And, um, you know, uh, Lance made his decision. He casted his people and we shot the film. Uh, we shot the film in October. I want to no, it was the last day of September okay. and the first week of October was when we filmed. And I mean, I've, I was, so I'm going to give you a little backstory of me. Yeah. Uh, so I was the kid, excuse me. I was the kid that would stay up late and watch the HBO, uh, documentary series of, you know, the making of, uh, of, of a certain movie. So HBO used to have this series and this was before YouTube. This was before, um, I guess, I think it was before DVDs. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember, but I remember staying up late and watching the making of the, you know, and it was like 15 minutes of just of like, I, I think the first one that I ever watched was, was Armageddon. And mm-hmm. I remember the voice of, I still remember the, the guy's voice on HBO and he would be like, and now yeah. the making of Armageddon. And I remember just like being a kid and just like, just like falling in love with the whole process of making the film. And I remember watching the fifth, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. And I just remember like telling myself, man, I would love to be a part of that. Mm-hmm. And, um, just seeing like, you know, just seeing, you know, behind the scenes, just seeing the actors, you know, working with the directors, directors working with the actors. And, um, so, and, and, you know, Lance gave me the opportunity to fill, for, uh, to, uh, to fulfill one of my dreams was to be on set and to see how it actually works. So mm-hmm. one of my responsibilities was with the slate, with the, with the film slate, making, yeah. making sure that, you know, um, we were on the right scene, making sure that, and that helps with the whole editing process, you know, keeping track of like the, the takes, the, what take, keeping take track one, of the takes, take keeping track of the audio. Yeah. I mean, so Lance and Caleb, um, Shout out to Lance and Caleb if they're watching this, but uh, yeah. it was one of those things where uh, they 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 picked out an amazing crew. I mean, from cinematographer, um, everybody, everybody, you know, uh, our our gaffer, our 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 grip guy. I mean, 
everybody, our our PAs, everybody did an amazing job. There was it was an amazing cast and crew. I, I was so blessed to be a part of of, of that group, and um, we got to shoot at, at at amazing locations. I've never been to Fredericksburg. Uh, have you been to? Never. So never. so I've always I've always heard of Enchanted Rock, but mm-hmm. I've never actually been there. I've only seen pictures. So one of the one of the locations was Enchanted Rock. So we we drove out there. That that was actually our last day of filming. How many days did you shoot? Uh, so we shot. Uh, it was it was a week. So we started on a Sunday and we finished on a Friday. So that was six days. Six days. Six okay. days of shooting. So yeah. So um, and it's just straight. Yeah. So I mean, it was long hours. I mean, yeah. I, I, I I we would start. You know. Uh. You know. Uh. Crew time was like at eight a.m. And we wouldn't finish until like close to eleven or twelve midnight. I mean, I would I would get home. I remember my second night, I was so sore. I I was like I I barely got uh, in my bed, and I you know it was I. I you barely was, felt like you closed your eyes, yeah, and then you had to wake up again. Yeah, it yeah. was it was. I, I remember the second day was just so sore, but it was like I was I was living the dream. I was in, I was in a film set. Um, and just to give you a little uh, an update, so Sky, so so the story that that uh, Lance wrote, um, it's about it's it's a coming of age film. Okay, it's a coming of age film. It deals with um, this this talented young pianist who who suffers from OCD, mm-hmm. and so it's it's his story with the pe- and 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 the people that's that's around him. Um, it it just deals with you know. Um, the stuff that we that we go through on a daily basis, and I, and I think this film does a really good job of. You can put yourself in in certain situations, and you can see yourself in that situations. But the best thing that I got out of it, and and you can find more uh, more about the Sky, um, if you go to Indiegogo, there's a website, okay. Indiegogo Sky, a short film. Um, you can get more information there. You can also go to the Instagram page, Sky, a short film. Um, but what I got out of it was that there's growth in the we grow when there's uh, obstacles in our way it's it that that's the best time when there's when there's obstacles that are uh, that are in front of us that's where we where we grow the most and that's kind of like like our relationship yeah. you know the obstacles that we <laughs> the obstacles that we face yeah. but you know i grew from that yeah. you know and that's what you wanted that's what you wanted from me was to grow and th- and that's what exactly what sky is it's it's it was it was just amazing to be a part of. Um, I can talk about it like I, I don't know how much time I have. Hey man, you can keep going. Yeah. yeah it, so so uh, is it out yet? No. So the okay. so the uh, Lance is currently working on it. It's in post production right now. Okay. So he's he's putting it, he's piecing it together as we speak. He's probably working on it right now. Okay. Uh, this is his baby. You know this yeah. this is you know this is this is his baby. Um, he's working. So the premi- the the film is going to premiere in April. Okay. Um. I, that, that's all I know. It's all right. like you know, he's he's looking for an April release. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, it was it. That's that's the latest project that I was in. I was you know, he gave me the opportunity to be the assistant director. To like I said, he gave me a front row seat and 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 seeing how it all works. Um. You know, I yeah. You know, it's everything that I wanted. It, and yeah. and again, it's 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 something like, you know, each project that I've done in the past it's, yeah. it's kind of like it's it's prepared me for for this next move and it's kind of like you learn from every project that you've worked on yeah and um but yeah so uh i'm super excited to uh to uh to see the film i'm okay. super excited to uh you know just to, just just to say that i was a part of a film like that and uh but yeah so uh april april's the release date okay man april that's, 2019 that's cool man you know what I, i'll get lance like if lance would come like want to yeah. come on here yeah. i can reach out to lance hit him up see if he yeah. wants to come on yeah for talk sure about it. for sure he would yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure he would love to talk about it yeah um yeah no for sure that's that's cool man that's cool uh so other than that or what's what's you got the next project in mind yet? Uh, so there is some projects that I have in mind right now. They're just ideas, but I need. Yeah. I was telling Lance. Lance actually gave me a, a really good book um, uh, re- about screenwriting. Yeah, and I've I'm the worst at at screenwriting, but he gave me this book, and I've been reading on it. It's really really helpful. But yeah, I do have a couple ideas. I do have uh, some um, some films that I want to you know mm-hmm. you know work on, um, and and. I'm so thankful for the opportunity because now I know what it takes, you know, yeah. what it takes to, to do something like this. And 
whether you know the funding the the the, the crew and and um I mean there's more to it but you know it, I mean I through the through sky I was able to make friendships and 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 connect with people and, yeah and uh so yeah so the, it's nothing is nothing is concrete right okay. now I mean I do I uh one thing that I that I I do want to work on in 2019 like what you're working on the podcast um I want to tell sto- I'm a storyteller yeah I love to tell stories and I want to focus on I want to focus on small businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, I've already reached out to a couple businesses out there. They said yes, and they're like they're ready to go. But what I want to do is kind of like what Chef's Table does is tell somebody's story. Yeah. And I would love to be uh, the person behind the camera to tell that story, um, whether it be you know like a like a bakery shop down down the street, or whether it's um, whether it's uh, somebody's personal story, you know, I would love to do that. You know, um, I, I worked on a little little video, a little highlight clip. Uh, do you remember Mana from from baseball? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he's yeah. he's so he's a he's a, a MMA fighter. I was gonna ask you yeah. about him. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I had this idea, and I and I and I remember. I think I I sent his mom a message uh-huh. on Facebook, and I was like, you know, because they have their own they have their own gym, they have their own. Um, MMA boxing, you know, gym. And so I reached out to her and I told her like, uh, cause she had posted something that Mana was going to be finding at Toyota center. Like he was going to be on one of the undercards. And yeah. I was like, Oh my God, that's, that's amazing for, for, um, for, for that. And I, I remember I was, I was thinking to myself, here's my chance of actually doing like an HBO 24 seven type of thing. So yeah. I, I reached out to them. They were super nice. They were like, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I remember I was with them maybe about four nights where he, when he was training for his, for his fight, and I, I recorded everything, um, and then I, I pieced it together, and I I, you know, I released it to him, and he loved it, and uh, it was actually pretty cool because he, he actually on that night of his fight, which he won like in in like I think the first or second round, but that night he had my logo in his trunks, mm-hmm. the the so I thought that was that was the coolest thing ever was yeah. you know to have my logo in his trunks and. Um, but yeah, so that was I don't know where I where I was going with that, but <laughs> but, uh, but that, projects. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So that that yeah. goes that goes with the small projects. I, yeah, I, I just want to do. I just want to story tell, tell story. Tell yeah. story. Man, and basically that's what this is. It's just yeah. a more simplified form yeah. for something that will work for my situation. You know, I want to create. I want to do stuff. Yeah, and then so this just makes it in a way where I could like streamline it and make it easier while mm-hmm. still telling. Basically, just telling a story, but more right. in an audio kind of way yeah and a, more of a simplified version right and i i love your idea you know i look forward to to to, to watching some some of your videos see yeah. what you got coming out yeah man. yeah no i mean yeah i might need your help on some of the editing stuff but because yeah. you know because i i did buy my book uh premiere pro i bought a book yeah. the, like the latest one i've been reading it yeah. uh so i'm excited to 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 start editing you know with with premiere pro but yeah no definitely that's something you know i i have three you know um Three small companies in mind, yeah. and hopefully I get started on that pretty soon. Man, uh, yeah, kind of just like release it, like how you're releasing yeah. your podcast, and just yeah. you know, just create stories. And yeah. you know, it's one of those things. Like I, I just you know, if it leads to something else, it leads to something else. But I just you know, I just want to do it. You know, and man, go for it. You yeah. know, I'm, yeah, I'm here if you need any help, any advice. Thank you, you thank know you. that, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. So, all right, you know, you're we're, we're both big movie guys, so yeah. huge. Movies, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. We finally got to the segment that I was yeah. ready for. <laughs> <laughs> We're through all that. Let, yeah. let's, man, let's let's start getting into it, man. Just just start uh whether it's uh movies that you wanna you're looking forward to or your yeah. your your movies that you're your uh you were excited of seeing. Yes, you yes. Know, so yeah, so I told Mike I, I texted him a couple days ago, I was like yeah. or yeah, something like that. I te- I was like I was like, Mike, what are we gonna talk about? Like, I, 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 I've seen the podcast where you do the initial how you guys meet, and that's, I mean, all this is is awesome. Yeah. But I kind of wanted to just do something because I'm a big fan of these, uh, of these YouTube. Um, they're called Collider. Yeah. Hyper RPG and um, New Rock Stars. So they pretty much kind of like talk about films, and I'm a big, big movie guy. I love, I love movies. So I, I texted you with the idea. I was like, "What if we do like the most anticipated films of 2019?" Yeah, you know. And uh, so I wrote down the list. Is it okay if I use my phone? Go ahead, man. Okay, let's go through it. All right. Give me a second here so I can load it up. Okay. All right. So the top 
So here here is my top ten anticipated films of twenty nineteen. So hopefully mine match up with you know the rest of them. <laughs> and and if if they don't, it may, maybe they'll be like you know like oh I, I didn't know that movie was coming yeah. out you know so I think I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, so before we get to the top ten, I'm gonna go to my honorable mentions. I, <laughs> All right, you yeah, got an so, honorable mention yeah, list. So like, that's how prepared yeah, this guy is, man. Yeah. He has an honorable mention list. Yeah, so Let's there's there's five on the list. So okay. um all right, so the first one, live action is is it's what's in right now. It's, yeah. you know all the, all the all the movies that we grew up with, you know, like The Lion King, I don't I you know, I can't think of any other ones, but the movies that we grew up as a kids, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book, you know, yeah, you know, they're, they're transitioning into from animated into like live action. Right, and it's not really live action. It's still CGI, but yeah. it's it's a lot better than what we grew up with. Yeah. And a lot of people are not for it. They're like, why are you messing my my childhood memories? Yeah. But I like it. I, I like to see a different version of it. All right. So uh the first one that I have on the list, honorable mention that didn't make the top ten is Aladdin. Aladdin. So they're okay. remaking Aladdin. And I heard about that one. Yeah. So yeah. it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna do uh aladdin without uh robin williams now yeah so you know will smith has been has been cast as a genie i think maybe about a month ago they just released some set photos uh-huh. it's kind of like iffy people are saying that this looks really really bad but i'm curious to is see is he an actual genie or is it like is it him is it so, him or is it like a cgi I, so like, yeah so he did he, will smith did come out there was an article that did say something about uh, the set photos that they released was actually him, okay. and everybody was just like dogging. They're like trashing. Yeah. They're like, "This is not. This does not look good." But then he did come out and say, "That's my human version. I am going to be a blue CGI." Okay. So that's one of the films that made my honorable mentions, just because I just want to see how they how they tell the story. The trailer is out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Uh, okay, so here comes. Uh, so I'm not really a horror uh-huh. film guy. I've never been. Well, actually, I was when I was a kid because I didn't know any better. But now that I'm older, it's kind of like it's just it's not my type of genre. Yeah. But did you know that they're actually rebooting Child's Play? They're no, I did not know. They're bringing back Chucky, everybody, yeah. everybody's favorite toy, <laughs> um, killer toy, the killer toy. So that film is going to be coming out, I think, in either the summer or October. I don't. Oh. I, I'm getting my movies mixed up. But it's gonna be interesting to see a modern day uh, uh, a modern day version of Chucky. I mean, this yeah. is the guy, this is the doll that ruined a lot of people's childhoods yeah. back in the day. Did you it ever probably, watch, Did you see the films? Yeah, I saw. Well, I probably saw a couple of them, and okay. probably I, I don't remember their entirety either. I, like, I, don't, I remember probably pieces. I mean, I think the, like the first one and the second were the better ones. Then they started yeah. coming out with a whole bunch of them that were just like I think it was like Bride of Chucky and something yeah. like that. But yeah, so they're doing uh they're doing a reboot of that. So I'm interested to see. I probably won't see the film. Yeah. But I, I'm interested to see the trailer. See see what it looks like. Maybe they'll sway me. All right. Here's another one that didn't make the list. John Wick three. Have you seen okay. Have you seen the John Wick films? I actually love the John Wick films. Yeah. I thought they were awesome. Yeah. So the first I, yeah so yeah. the first one uh was a hit. I yeah. mean the first one I I didn't even know about it, but it's it's pretty cool. It's it's good to see Keanu Reeves back in the yeah. limelight. Yeah. Uh, but I like the whole. It's, I like the whole. Like it, it's like a hitman, right? Yeah. He's like you know, pretty much don't mess with Keanu Reeves' dog. Pretty much, right? <laughs> that's that's the whole premise of the movie. It's a, it's it's an awesome movie though. Yeah. I went in not knowing. Uh, this is how I like to go into most movies, yeah. not knowing like anything about the film. Yeah. And then I went into John Wick, or well, I didn't actually go. I watched it on TV. I didn't yeah. go to the actual theaters. I yeah. like hardly go to the theaters. Yeah. But I remember uh, I heard like some good reviews about it, yeah. and so I was like, "Yeah, let me see what it's about." Yeah. And like, I had zero expectations for it. And yeah, it completely exceeded. And it's a, it's a simple it's a simple yeah. uh, it's a simple script, but it works. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 amazing. So that unfortunately didn't make my top ten. It was like like you know el- 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 right at eleven. Okay. Another one that made on so I have two more before I get to my top ten. I know I'm that's probably, <laughs> so another one that didn't make the list. Toy Story four. Okay. I can't believe they're making another Toy. Story. I thought I, three was. I thought it. I thought three was it, yeah. but you know they made so much money, it makes sense. Like you know, let's make more money. It's all about making money. So Toy Story four is coming out. If you guys didn't know that. I know um, you're breaking news here. Yeah, breaking, <laughs> breaking, break, breaking news. If you guys didn't know, there is a Toy Story four coming out in 2019. And then the last one before we get to the top ten is um, actually that's out in theaters right now is Glass. So, okay. yeah. so have you seen Unbreakable or Split? I haven't seen Unbreakable. I've seen Split. Okay. I haven't seen Unbreakable though. Okay, so so 
I it's so funny because Glass the trailer came out for Glass. Now I knew about M Night Shyamalan mm-hmm. and his you know his movies have been like it's contra- it's, it's one of those things like either they're good or they're really yeah. bad. Um but when I saw the Glass trailer it it like I was so excited for it and then it, it, people were telling me like there's there's a there's a prequel there's there's Unbreakable and Split yeah. and I had no idea about them. Mm-hmm. So I've I need to go see Unbreakable and uh, Split before I go see. Uh, oh, you haven't uh, seen them? No, I haven't seen them. So okay. I've, I've seen bits and pieces of them. Okay. So I need to I need to watch those first. Yeah. But you know, once I finish Unbreakable and Split, I'm definitely gonna go see Glass. I'm a big fan of James McAvoy. I and I hear he kills it. Yeah. I hear that Spl- big fan of him. I and uh, people at work, friends, I, I, and I see Pose that you know he killed it in Split. Yeah. Like and 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 I heard that he does even amazing job in this next one. Yeah. So. So those are my top honorable mentions. All right, All so right. here 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 goes the list. Here is the exclusive. Again, <laughs> again these are my list. You know, yeah. these, these are my, my 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 top ten. They're not in order. I actually put them in order of of the release date. Okay. All right. Do we get a drum roll or anything like that? Are we doing our own sound effects yeah. here? Okay. All right. So the first one that comes out in March, Captain Marvel. Yeah. So. For obvious reasons, Captain Marvel, um, it's the next movie after Infinity War. So, did you see Infinity War? Yes, man. Infinity War was the last movie I saw in a the movie theater. Okay. And I-, I had to see it because I was like, there's so much buzz. Like, I was like, I, I, I wanted no spoilers with that movie. Yeah. I was like, I didn't want to know anything. I wanted to go into that movie just, just like not knowing anything. Right. But then there was just so much buzz about yeah. it. And then I was like, especially the huge, after that huge first week, everybody was talking about it. It was everywhere. So I was like, man, let me just go see this movie. Yeah. yeah so I waited, like, I went the Monday after the first release. Okay. So it wasn't that packed, but still, okay. I was like, I left and I was like, yeah, mind blown. Such a great I was like, movie. What? I mean, just, yeah. I mean, just to think about how, where they started yeah. in 2008 with, with Iron Man and now, it was, yeah. so it was 10 years, 10 years, in, 10 years in the making. Um, it's incredible. I think, I think Captain Marvel is gonna be like their twenty, twenty fifth, twenty sixth movie that that Marvel has released. It's just yeah, it's just amazing to think. But you know, again, the reason that I have Captain Marvel in my top ten is because it's the movie after Infinity War. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 technically gonna happen before Infinity War, right? The right. Time so, time wise, time wise, yeah. Period, so yeah. it's it is it's before, like in the, it's supposed to take place in the nineties. In the nineties. So yeah. this is I forgot her name, but um, it's it's her origin story, so to speak. Yeah um you mean the actress or yeah, yeah. brie larson brie larson yeah She's brie larson yeah yeah and if you haven't like seen brie larson yeah. watch uh man i'm forgetting the name of it this is the first movie i saw her and i was like man uh who else is in it uh who else is in it uh the guy <laughs> from uh uh mr robot uh he's in it uh, oh uh i forgot his name too uh He's the Remy one. Remy Malik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from uh, yeah, yeah, uh, from Mr. Robot. Yeah. And he's also uh, he's in some other films. Uh, he did uh, some other stuff. Uh, who, man, what's the movie? It's and uh, uh, Lakeith Stanfield. I think that's his name or Lakeith. Uh, oh, I'm drawing. I'm drawing a blank too. Man, that movie is amazing. It's about a. Uh, 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 it's about like this uh, foster home. Okay. I guess it's a foster home or is it a group? Was this one of her first films? Yeah, it was early on. Okay. Um, man, I'm going to have to. We'll go back to that one. Just just look up I, IMDB. Yeah. IMDB, Brie Larson. It's, uh, I could, sh- the cover is her with, uh, I don't think there's some kids running. Okay. There's, there's some kids running along. The okay. trailer, man. Of course, I'm gonna forget right now. But yeah, Brie Larson, she's an amazing actress. Watch yeah. all of her stuff. Oh, and she has another movie called Room. Room. R O O M. She's amazing, and that okay. movie is amazing. Okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna I recommend to... seeing that one too. Okay, well, I'm gonna add that yeah. to the list. Um, and another cool thing about Captain Marvel, it's I I, I did my research. Um, it's actually gonna be co-directed by two independent filmmakers. So that's pretty cool. So for Marvel, for for you know this big company Marvel to yeah. you know to give two independent filmmakers a chance to do such a big budget film, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, so that's number one on the list. Uh, the next one that's on my list that comes out in March is um, and we actually saw a trailer before we actually did the podcast. Yeah. It's um, 
It's Jordan Peele's follow-up to Get Out, and it's called Us. It came out on Christmas Day, and it was, oh my God. If you have not seen the trailer to Us, watch it right now. Actually, what time is it? 9.05. It might be too late because you'll probably get freaked out. <laughs> uh, but, it I mean, it looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what did you think? You saw the trailer. Yeah, I mean... I would want to see it. I want, yeah. Uh, yeah, especially after what he did with Get Out. Yeah, and I thought Get Out was pretty good. Uh, people were saying it's amazing. I don't think it's um, amazing, amazing, but you know, I, I really liked it. I would give it a, a solid eight. Yeah, out no, of for 10. sure. Yeah, I'd for sure. It, yeah. It's it's one of the, it's one of the. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure he had um, he took ideas from other films, yeah. but it, it, it Jordan Peele is right now. He's that was his. Uh, uh, debut as a director. Debut as a director. He's known for comedy, right? And he straight in just went into a horror, right. horror film. So. And it was like you know, I, it's it's original, and that's yeah. what that's, that's what Hollywood needs these days. It's yeah. it's they they need more original content. Yeah, it's so. way too much remakes. Yeah. So yeah. if you it, us it, us is number two on the list. If you, again, if you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. It is, I mean, the music. We were talking about the music. Yeah. Uh, I got five on it. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard of that song before, uh, but man, it's such a cool trailer. Check that out. All right, so we move on to April. Uh, so I'm a Marvel guy, but DC is starting to win me over. Uh, so the next DC, so Aquaman is apparently I haven't seen Aquaman. I haven't seen Aquaman but, either. But I heard I heard pretty good things about it, so I definitely yeah. have to catch that. But uh, DC's uh, first uh, film of 2019 is going to be Shazam. Have you heard of Shazam? Yes. So Shazam, I mean, if you haven't seen the trailer, go check it out. It's it's amazing. Um, but Shazam, it's it deals with a young boy who gets these magic powers from this wizard and all he has to do is say Shazam and he becomes the superhero. Yeah. The trailer is hilarious. Uh, but what it reminds me of, I, did you ever watch the film big, um, with Tom Hanks back in the, I want to say maybe late eight eighties. No. So big, uh, big deals with this, uh, with Tom Hanks. Uh, he's played by a different, uh, a different, uh, actor, but it's a young boy and I don't remember too much of it, but all he's all he wants is to be a grown up already. Yeah. Like he's tired of being a kid. He can't do anything as a kid. His mom doesn't let him do anything. So he just wants to grow up already. So he 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 ends up at this like fair. I don't know if that's right. He was like at, at this carnival and he comes with this like um this do you remember those those um those games where you point put in a quarter and it's like uh uh it's not a genie, but it's like um a gypsy something like i think their her name is like esmeralda it's well, like it has like the little curtains open up yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And, and it's like it's like it's supposedly like grant wishes yeah so apparently in the in the film he puts in a quarter and he wishes to be a grown-up mm-hmm. so the next day he wakes up and he's tom hanks he's he, okay he's like a 30 year old in a in a in a boy's body and like you know he freaks out at first but then he realizes this is what he wanted so he takes advantage of it so that's what i get from Shazam so can yeah. you imagine being a kid and then you get these powers and now you're a superhero mm-hmm. i think it's a great concept and that's 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 number 3 i know i'm taking forever but <laughs> moving along so this is number 4 in game so the this is the the sequel to infinity war yeah. so that comes out in april and um I'm super excited to see what happens in Infinity War. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Infinity War is is Thanos' film. I, I thought uh, Josh Brolin did an amazing job as as Thanos. Finally, we get a villain that that wins. You know, I've always been a villain guy. If the, yeah. if the movie has a good villain, then I'm sold. Um, so Endgame is the is the finale of Phase Three. So uh, Marvel is moving on to Phase Four. Yeah. Uh, so um, we'll get our we're, we'll get our ending in Endgame. So I'm super excited to see how how everybody comes back or how everybody doesn't come back who dies who doesn't die i could i could pretty much tell you what's gonna happen you 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 have the you have the script here you yeah yeah, i could pretty much tell you what's gonna happen okay do you want uh we'll we'll say that for a different i don't want no spoilers here no spoilers we'll put a a sign out that says no spoilers here um moving on to july uh hopefully everybody has this on their list too spider-man far from home yeah so the, I saw the trailer. Looks great. Um, I haven't even seen the trailer. You haven't, you haven't, I haven't seen, seen the trailer. So uh, I didn't even know it was out. Yeah. So yeah. check it out when you get a chance. But Jake Gyllenhaal is making his debut. Okay. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. yeah so Jake Gyllenhaal yeah. is playing Mysterio. Yeah. Um, everybody's kind of like everybody's all confused. Like, where does this movie take place? Because Spider Man is supposedly supposedly dead. Why is he in this film? Um, 
But I'm really excited to see Spider-Man Far From Home because it's the beginning. It's the first film of Phase 4. I don't know how many more movies Marvel is going to come out with, but yeah. fa- you know, Phase 4, it's it's the start of something. Um, so that one comes out in July. All right, so everybody bring out get get out your tissues. Um, the Lion King. The, okay. They're a live action Lion King is coming out. I don't know if I'm ready for this one, Mike. I mean, because yeah. I mean, um, I remember being a kid and the whole Mufasa scene was just like it was too much. I was like, what is going on? Why is Mufasa dead? But I'm really excited to see the live action version of the Lion King. And who knows? Maybe they have some surprises for us. Maybe uh, maybe Mufasa doesn't die. Oh, wow. I mean, would you be okay with that? I mean, I'd be fine. I I like it when they they switch it up. Yeah, I mean Marvel does it in their movies. Right. I mean they don't stick straight to right. the comic books. They I'll, do little twists and stuff like that. I wonder how people would react if they were to keep Mufasa alive. You know, because you know the Lion yeah. King was so was was pretty much the, the 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 what do you call it the the biggest part of the film is when you know Simba loses his dad yeah. and then he has to grow up and yeah, you that know, was the turning point. The turning point, yeah. right? So I'm 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 interested to see if they're going to keep that or if they're going to change it up. We'll see how that goes, but yeah. uh, the Lion King. Um, yes, I am gonna go see that film. Uh, right. I don't care how old I am. <laughs> I'll, I'll be one of the first ones, you know, to go see that film, and I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Uh, real quickly, uh, another Quen, uh, Quentin Tarantino film is coming out. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Okay. That's probably this is probably one of the lesser known films on the list. Um, I never even heard of it. But I'm a big fan of Quentin Tarantino. You got uh, Brad Pitt and you got Leonardo DiCaprio. In this film, so okay. so sign me up. You know, I I when those when they worked, I I don't think they've ever worked on a film together. I think this is probably the first time they're on the film together. So those are one of my two favorite actors. So it's interest. It, I'm interested to see what Quentin, Quentin Tarantino comes up with, especially. Um, I think one of my favorite films from him is uh, Django Unchained. I, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen that one? Nope. So th- I think that was the first time Leonardo DiCaprio played a villain. Okay. So I mean, he he killed it. I mean, it's a good movie. So I'm excited to see what they come up with. All right, so here are the final three. Here are All my right. final three, the top ten most anticipated film. I don't know if people are ready for it, but because um, Heath Ledger did such a uh, – and I'm all spitting on your microphone. I'm oh, sorry. it's fine. I'll clean it. It's not the first time I'm going to have to clean the little mic, uh, okay. the windscreen. Okay, so the next one is uh, The Joker. Okay. So I don't know if you, uh, if you knew, but yeah. they're actually doing an origin film of The Joker. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel about this one just because of, uh, you know, I can't believe The Dark Knight has been – it's been 11 years yeah. since The Dark Knight because The Dark Knight came out in 2008. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, I remember I remember when they casted Heath Ledger. I was one of the ones, Heath Ledger, really? I like, I don't see it. But then the first trailer came out and you heard his voice and then you, you saw him, how he looked. And I was like, oh, my God, you know, this looks amazing. Um, so, yeah, so I'm interested to see how what they're going to do. Yeah. I, they've already released some set photos. Um, he looks completely different. He's like in a different color suit, different makeup. He doesn't look like the Joker that we're used to. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious to see if that's kind of like um, like his first costume. So the Joker comes out in October. So I'm excited to see what they do with that. All right. So here are my last two. All right. Let's hear them. All right. Uh, the last two. So this one comes out in November. And uh, this is going to make us proud uh, just because, you know, we're, you know, Mexican-American. We're, we're Latinos. Uh, so did you know that they're doing another Terminator movie? Yes. You did? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is Terminator 6, but from what I read, throw everything that you throw everything away that you saw after Terminator 1 and 2. This new one coming out in November, it's actually Terminator 3. Okay. So I think like I don't remember all the names, but it was like Terminator Salvation, Terminator Rise of the Machines, and I, I can't remember the other ones, but those are so bad. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean. Who's directing this? Uh, I don't know who the director is, but James Cameron is involved. Okay. So he's part of the original. And I think it, uh, Terminator 2 is probably my all-time favorite film ever. I mean, that's if, if, if somebody were to tell me you can only choose one movie to watch for the rest of your life, I'm choosing Terminator 2. I mean, mm-hmm. that, mil- that film I think came out in 1991. And till this day, those graphics still hold up. I mean, the whole – the liquid uh, Terminator. Yeah. I mean, it's just um, what was his name? T one thousand. Yeah, something like that. But what, what I what I brought about the whole Latino Mexican Mexican American. The Terminator in this one is actually Mexican American. Yeah. So the new Terminator, his name is uh, Gabriel Luna. Yeah, he plays. I know him from uh, Agents of Shield. He yep. plays Robbie Reyes, yep. the Ghost Rider. Yep. Yeah. He, yeah. 
So he's the new Terminator. And there's like, if you go to his Instagram, he's working out with Arnold. So that's huge. Yeah. I mean, that's that's I mean, that's like, you know, that's that's something I think that, he's a good fit. Yeah, I think he could play. Yeah, he's got yeah. the look for it. Somebody already did like a Photoshop of him of what he would look like with the uh, with the, what, the the endoskeleton. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, it, it's just cool to see, uh, 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 you know, a Latino in in such a big film like that. You yeah. know, it's pretty cool. You know, I, I was hoping to be the first, you know, I, got, <laughs> I was I was hoping to be the first Latino Terminator. Okay. Yeah. OK, I thought you want to be behind the camera. <laughs> Well, as a kid, I remember okay. watching. I, I remember watching Terminator Two, and I was thinking, I was like, "Oh my god, that's uh, you know." I remember. I think everybody does this. Like when they see a movie, they you know they pretend like they're certain uh, certain yeah. somebody. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Gabriel Luna, man! Congratulations, you know, uh, making us Latinos proud, and yeah. I'm excited. Hopefully, it's a good movie. Uh, I don't know anything about the film, but apparently, it happens right after Judgment Day. Okay, so I'm excited to see that one. Um, okay, and the last one, obviously, I'm a huge nerd. Um, Star Wars Episode Nine. It's the finale of the trilogy. Um, we don't know what's still going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, JJ Ar- JJ Abrams Disney. They started this one in 2015. The Force Awakens. Everybody was saying, "Oh, it was the same thing as A New Hope." I liked it. It's a good film. Uh, and plus, I'm biased. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Um, but episode nine, we don't know the, the the name of the movie yet. But it all all we know is just called Star Wars Episode Nine. Um, comes out in December. It's the follow up to the Last Jedi. I have so many, so many. You know, I can talk about the Last Jedi all day. But you know, I I like the film. I didn't love the film. I thought Ryan Johnson did a great job. But there was just some parts in the movie. I don't know. Have you seen the Last Jedi? I haven't. I still haven't seen any Star Wars. Movies. You have not seen one Star Wars movie. Then we nope. should have. That, that should have been the whole podcast. <laughs> just talking Star just Wars. Just talking Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know. We probably wouldn't have got that many views on that yeah. one. But uh, never Star Wars. Never. Not one. It movie. just never caught your attention. Uh just never happened. J- just yeah. never happened. I mean, I, I, now I think a little bit is like there's so many of them. Yeah. Like I'll have to. It's like that commitment. Like, oh, yeah. I gotta watch these eight, right? Eight movies now. Yeah. Well, right. I would skip the prequels. Don't watch the prequels. Okay. I mean, it's one of those. It's, uh, so I don't even know how the I prequels gotta, are like four, five, and six. Then so four, five, and six now were actually the originals. the The original Star Wars was. A New Hope, oh, okay. Empire Strikes Back, yeah. and The Return of the Jedi. So those, those were the first ones that came out. Those like were the, the first ones. In the 80s. And uh, actually, the first one, I think, was like 70, 76. Okay. The last two were in the 80s, I think. I don't I don't remember my timeline. But the first one came out like late late 70s. Then the next one was like 81. And then that next one was like 83. Those are 4, 5, and 6. Those are 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Yes. But and the, then, so but, what I'm thinking about like an actual release, like release date is... Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. In the, uh, okay, I got so, you. So then... And then, like, release date-wise, the next ones that follow that... Are the prequels. Are one, two, and three. Correct. Technically in the time order. Right, in right. The, in their timeline. Star Wars timeline. Right. Okay. Yeah, so um, those came out in 99, 2001, and 2003, I think. I think that's when... Uh, maybe even earlier than that. Uh, but as a kid, I mean, I was just a kid. I was... How old was I in 1999? I was 11. Wait, 12. Okay. I was 12 years old in 1999. And um, at the time, I mean, I thought they were the most amazing thing. But when you look back at it now, it's like, yeah. oh, my God, these are these movies are, 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 are not good. Um, so that the, the prequels kind of left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. So when when Disney, you know, purchased Lucasfilm and they yeah. announced that they were going to do this new reboot or not a reboot, but they were going to continue the series with uh seven eight nine everybody was all like you know i thought the story was over you know like what are they gonna do now um but they killed it that first one was they it brought us back to the original the feel the look the sound uh it's one of my favorite movies of 2015 which one's that what's the title of it the force awakens okay yeah is it and then okay which one's rogue one then so Rogue, that's separate? Yeah, so Rogue One is one of those films that they do. Uh, what do, what do they call those films? Those are the films that they. Oh. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down, Google. Yeah, Google wants to be a part of this. I uh, know it uh, wants to join one. the podcast. Yeah. 
we'll let Google be a part of the podcast. <laughs> um, so Rogue One, it's um, what do they call those films that it's a part of the universe, but it's not in the part of the timeline. Oh, it's a standalone. It's a standalone film. Oh, okay. So Rogue One is a standalone film that deals with uh, the original Star Wars, okay. which is in episode in episode four. When I, if you're a Star Wars fan, you know at the very beginning of the film, this is what Star Wars is known for: is the scroll that comes down. Yeah. Um, so in the scroll, it says something about um, these rebel, uh, these rebel pilots, these rebel, um, the rebels, you know, the good guys. They stole the plans of the Death Star, and because of that, they were able to, uh, they were able to like defeat, you know, the. Um, I'm drawing a blank now, okay. but they were able, they, they were able to de- the, defeat the uh, the res- not the resistance because that's the new um, the Empire. Okay, they were they were they were able to defeat the Empire. Uh, so, so Ro- is that the standalone film? Is a little bit that yeah, story. So the Rogue, just- so Rogue One ties in with those rebels. It tells oh, the story okay. of the rebels. Rogue One is actually pretty good. Like if if you were to start with a Star Wars film, start with that one. Like is is that the one with the with the the guy that was in the Night of, which is the one with the, the yes Night of. yes yes okay. the Night of on H- on HBO. Yeah, man, that's such a good movie. Or that's a good that's such series. a good series. Yeah, uh, what's his name? I'm forgetting all the actors' yeah, names. I'm this forgetting. Episode. Every, I'm forgetting every, everything. Yeah. Everything right now. He was just in Venom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's he's in Rogue One. So if you're going to yeah. start Star Wars, start with Rogue One okay. because when, if you start with Rogue One, it's such a good movie, and it and it, it makes leads it into four. Okay. It, it leads into it, it leads into the original. Yeah. And I remember watching Rogue One and then watching Star Wars: A New Hope again, and yeah. it just completely changed everything. I mean. Okay. It's it's amazing. So yeah, if if you're gonna start watching Star Wars, don't watch the prequels. Watch Rogue One, and then go with the originals four, five, and six, and then go with uh, seven, seven, eight, eight and yeah. So the ninth and final, it's coming, it's coming out in December. I'm super excited to, just to see the finale. I'm I'm a big. Um, I think what first drew drew to me uh, with Star Wars was the was the lightsaber. Okay. I mean that right there. The I mean, sound effect. Yeah, the, just the sound effect. I mean, zoom, zoom. Yeah, yeah it, it was just it was just something that you know, it just it was just an amazing experience. So it like you know to see it on the screen, and um, and that's where you know it's 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 one of the I I think what I love about movies is that it just lets you escape. Yeah. You know, it just it just it it just lets you escape you. Um, go into different worlds. You can do whatever you want, um, and uh, it's it's just storytelling at its at its finest. It's yeah. it's art. It's 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 amazing. What's your favorite genre movie? Uh, favorite genre. You know, I like I like um, I like a simple. I like things that are not too complicated. I I like I like those kind I like those type of films that has a message. Um, My favorite genre would probably have to be. I mean, I I love thrillers, but you know, I I just I honestly I I like those biopics. Okay. I really like the biopics. Like you know, I haven't seen the fir- first man yet. The one with uh, oh, that's good. You saw it, I first saw man. That one. Yeah. Did you see it in the theaters? No, I did not see it you in the theaters. See, uh, so I, I wanted to go see it in IMAX, but I didn't get a chance to. Yeah. But I like those biopics. I like you know real stories. I like to hear. Um, uh, I like to see the director's interpretation of, of a certain individual. And I like to see that story. So, um, I mean, there's so many genres that are going through my head right now, but if I were to pick one, my favorite are like the biopics. So okay. the ones that, so first man, I'm definitely going to watch that. That's um, a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So it's available to rent on voodoo. So I, I'm excited. I don't, I don't, I don't buy DVD Blu-rays anymore. I don't buy, buy anything. Yeah, anymore. So I, I, now with like online streaming, it's like, mm-hmm. that's, that's what I use now. So, yeah. So yeah, I, I wouldn't have to say biopics. Okay, that's awesome. I think that's what they're called, right? Yeah. Biopics. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and mine would be sci-fi for what you were mentioning earlier, because they take you to different worlds. Yeah. And there's there's less rules. Yeah. So with a sci-fi, you can make up. There's less restrictions. You can make up any story mm-hmm. and have it make sense. Yeah. Like you could change the entire worlds just by like taking out like right. say you know. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but Bird Box or something. Just thinking about it, so you lose your eyes, yeah. or how I haven't even seen this one, A Quiet Place, right? Where you can't. That's talk. another good one. Yeah, yeah where man, you, there's so many movies yeah. that I did. So you change one one thing, yeah. Or I don't know, the 
Well, I know the the bird box is a good example because that's supposedly has like some size fly aspects yeah. to it. Yeah. But just just you take one thing and then change the entire right. perspective of like how you view things yeah. and just change the world and just there's so much more storytelling mm-hmm. that creativity that right. can go in place with a sci-fi movie right. that you can't really do because you're limited by like what's real and right. what's not yeah in other genres yeah yeah but uh yeah man so oh man we've been talking for a while i think this is a a, a good place to wrap it up you just you just heard javier paredes top 10 most anticipated films of 2019 yeah and uh, thank you for letting me share hopefully you guys like this segment hopefully uh you enjoyed it hopefully mine matches with yours if you're if you're a movie person (laughs) and if they don't you know maybe they can let me know which movie i missed or something yeah man but uh, that's dope man and uh Let's go ahead and wrap it up. It's getting a little late, man. Okay. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm the worst, man. I can talk forever. I, yeah. I, get that, I get that from my dad, man. My dad can talk it up. So. Yeah, man. I appreciate you coming on. No, Thanks for being a part of thank this. Thank you for letting me come, man. And you know I had to invite you. Yeah, appreciate you know, it. man. So, uh, guys, is there anything you want to plug? Your Instagram? Do you uh, have people follow you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on Instagram. You can find me at uh, Javier period Paredes period Jr., Okay. Um, I'll link the yeah, yeah, that yeah, in the yeah, description yeah. for you. Yeah, but no, go, go check out. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys go check out Sky, a short film. If you if you're interested in 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 uh, in finding out more, uh, go to their webpage Indiegogo, or you can go on their Instagram. Um, and but I, I appreciate I appreciate the support. Yeah. I appreciate you letting me come in and talk talk about it for a bit. And uh, I it's good seeing you again. Yeah, man. It's, uh, you're looking good. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I like the whole new band the no, the new look the bandana look. I'm bringing the bandana back, guys. Yeah, man. I'm bringing the bandana back. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, you, uh, bringing back the Karate Kid, the Daniel, <laughs> the Dan- Daniel son. <laughs> yeah, man, it's good. that's exactly what I was going yeah, for. Yeah, man, it it uh, works. That's it what I'm gonna tell people. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's, it's it's weird though, cause you're you're the Miyagi, you know, you're 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 yeah. you're the, you're, the, you're the teacher, man. You, uh, um, but you know, hey, man, I appreciate that comp. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, no, you're yeah. you're 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 Mr. Miyagi, yeah, man. Yeah. You're you're the one that uh, like everybody that's come before, man. They're they've said, um, you know, they can they can come to you, and you're you know you're you're the best, man. You, this guy really is the best. So, all right, guys, guys, you uh, make sure to follow us on YouTube. Uh, just search the finest on there. I'm gonna leave, link stuff in the description. You can go to thefinest.com. Check out everything. That's D E F Y N E S T. You can check out. Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the other Google Podcasts, all the other uh, podcast streaming services, platforms, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the format, I mentioned this on the last episode. Uh, I want to release the videos. The videos are releasing Tuesday at 7 p.m. and the audio version is coming out a day before. So if you want to check out the audio vo- version, you get a sneak peek. The video version drops s- Tuesdays at 7 p.m. on YouTube. You can check that out. Guys, I I, I really appreciate you all for, for watching, listening. And, man, it's a, it's a wrap, man. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank man, you. Man, we're... Uh, I look forward to the the projects that we have together in the yeah, future, man. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, man. So excited for it. Yeah. Oh, so it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Oh, my God.